Alright, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to more Tears of the Kingdom. And we're right out here finally outside the second dungeon, which just looks awesome from the outside. It's in the depths and everything, so the whole ascent down, well, Death Mountain itself was cool. And there's a whole area, but we kind of loosely explored it. We'll do more of that in time, honestly, because just the depth is so massive. But uh, today is finally when we're going to do this dungeon. I'm just going to kind of check the surrounding areas, kill anything that, you know, straggling. Uh, there's like some loose weapons and stuff that could be helpful. And then we can go at it. So hope you guys are doing well. I'm very excited. Another water platform. There we go. Um... I guess a couple more we have this uh, opal rod for. There we go. If you're gonna do a big one, just spin attack. Woo! <laughs> I love how there's a water rod. I didn't love that. So. There's a traveler sword. I want to get like, some of these loose things for just the sake of being loose things, you know? But we have a pretty decent selection of weapons. Large pose. I think everything around here is cleared. I just wanted to make sure first, and it seems like we did that. So. Oh, wait, no, we didn't. <laughs> it pays to check. Pretty decent payment. Um, Yeah. Anything tiered for the dungeon up ahead? This is that. <laughs> the last dungeon was a giant floating arc in the sky. It's like a Full on fire palace. Okay, this is really cool. I just can't get over how this looks. Fire temple. Lost Gord. Lost Gor Gorondia. Okay. It's like that one. What that one Gor was talking about. The city of Gorondia is actually real. Oh boy. Where the voice is coming from. The sage calling to him. Oh boy. Fire Temple, Floor 1, Elden Canyon Depths. like this inside Death Mountain. What even happened? Huh. Ah. I gotta talk to you. I wonder if that's gonna explain more because Zelda is such more of a key thing in this storyline than the Rito one. The source of the evil meets Zelda. And these rocks. Oh, jeez. It's a seal on the boss. Interesting. The architecture down here is it's fire. <laughs> Literally. Oh, so you have to rock the devil horns in this hell like place. Oh. This is so cool. Huh? It's Zelda Goro! Gonna find a, a rock roast monster. Huh. Not good. Stuck inside. Huh? It's probably a terminal base like the other one. Five terminals. Seems like that's a formula for these. <laughs> it's 
slips in between the drawbridge. Aw. Not enough time. Huh? This is so cool. Man. The gate you must pass through is firmly locked with five padlocks. This is like the original Goron Sage you talking, I believe. Do so, then the gate should open. Oh, wow. He's on my words. The whole minecart facility. Five floors? Huh? Jeez. Young Little Rock. Mm. They did tell us how to open the gate. I don't like having this map. Uh, world map. There we go. <laughs> it's not letting me switch out of it. Okay. Um. Yeah, literally a whole... It's something to do with the mining base, or unless that's just a transport. <laughs> the verticality is amazing. What? Just the sprawlingness of this whole base. Just connects with the rest of the depths, too. Oh. Yeah, literally. I just have to know something's in back. Admiring this location too much, honestly. I try lava fall. That connects all the way up there? Second floor. This must be the boss room. Close enough. What's on this lava fall? <laughs> Just climbing our way up. I guess why not? Oh, it has a current. Okay, makes sense. This is massive. This is so cool. What are those things? Okay, maybe little track switchers. Start by going here. Yep, this is what I wanted to see in a Zelda game. <laughs> Wind Temple is pretty cool. Kind of reminded me of, like Divine Beast Desk, but this is awesome. This is so cool. Okay, uh, let me in, please. I guess the way we go about it, however. Climb something, maybe? Send it to something else? Guess we'll try that. Oh. Ha. Wrap around. Hmm. boss room of sorts. Is that a Captain Construct 4? I didn't even see a 3 yet. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. You know, Bo? <laughs> Counting on you. Yeah, we're just gonna use a spear. Oh, what the? Oh! Holy crap! What are these guys? Ow. Yeah, fire attack. <laughs> Woo! 
Then you slug him. Okay. Ow! Hydrant. Um. Let's see. Any loose food? That's good. Um. No, we eat our meats. Meats are good. Meats are nowhere to be found. That's awesome. <laughs> there we go. Two meats. There we go. <laughs> Melee me. <laughs> That's so cool to fire attack in there. There. Is there something floryable? I can't floor you that. My shield blocks it. Ow. Jeez. You just gotta keep wailing on him. Oh, they dropped large ones. Oh, Captain Construct 4. Yeah, I don't even think I saw the threes, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, this is so cool. I'm not ready for all of this. Mighty Construct. Yeah, we have all these to replace. Is anything like the other dungeon? Uh, Gonna be getting a lot of the Zonai stuff we can use up. Flame Mitter Club, we can just leave for now. Rocket Hydrant. Cool like workshop, kinda. <laughs> he was the engineer. The leader of such. Okay. So, how is all these parts for a reason? this thing. A turner? Gotcha. Don't gotcha. Was I not paying attention? There's a switch. No, it's only that one. We have to find the switch for that one then. So maybe. Here I go. Charge. Close. You know, Bo? There we go. I can do it. We can't jump with this. Uh. No dice. Please, though. Ha! Ah. Upwards? Oh, this is insane. And there's that whole... There's so much to this. Uh... Okay. And I get why they'll spin around now. Because if you put it the wrong way, if you write it from one direction, you can spin it. This seems to just be busted the way it is, so. Yeah, but it is blocked off by that. I don't think I was certain. I don't think you can. No. Or maybe you can if you just do this. I think it's designed so you're not supposed to. Let's try it here, just to be sure. Yep. So we enter from that side. That means we must go here. Huh. That leads off. That leads over there. That leads up. Here, let's try out this first. It seems like this is more approachable in the direction. Whoa! Not quite. Yeah, I'll take that one. <laughs> That's why there's so many minecarts. Okay. 
Let's not ride first, ask questions later. Bad plan. So that's cut off. This side is... N it's all busted. Okay, that's in like an entrance to this area. This is so interesting. Only one of them takes me forward properly, and it's this left one. We'll take the left one. Ancient city of Gorondia. Not many Gorons left here. Just you, Yanobo. I gotta be actually made it safely. Interesting. Isn't that nice? Here I go. Let's go. <laughs> A little bit of skip in there. Goro. There we go. You do that. Okay. A little lava fall. Skip. Skip. I can do it. No, not like that. <laughs> it registers that as a platform, though. It's kind of funny. Soldier construct. Oh. <laughs> Always getting in the way of my flurries, you know? No. There we go. <laughs> now where's my flurry weapons? Here? <laughs> Reaper. Jeez. That does the trick alright. Weapons. Oh. <laughs> it does look like a gong, I was about to say. Maybe we hit the gong. Goro. This is a terminal switch. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It looks like the Rodania symbol, like the head. Kind of. <laughs> Gives me that vibe. That Just the shape the of it. Padlock, Link. Oh, there are four more for us to find. That's a lot. <laughs> you know, but we we did a similar thing, you know? <laughs> Oh. Okay. Um, do we just drop the damaged ones? Because we can every time? We can. Also, sorry, Blazing Shield. I feel like it's not as important as what we have. We have so many of these Zone I ones because they're just everywhere in this game. Like, that is all my shields. In a way, I kind of don't want to drop my emblazon because it looks cool. Why do I need all this zone attack, right? Yeah. This is very much so something. Okay. It's like, yeah, why would the slit be here? It's being a chest. Three zonites. Could at least give me like one large. Beggars can't be choosers. So. Call me a beggar. Fan and hydrant, okay. At least you can find capsules everywhere, that's kind of cool. Hit it. Nice. It's convenient. Well, ancient city over here. I can do it. Let's see what we can do with this. Here I go. Okay, so that fixed the path there. Gotcha, that, and that. And that. Oh! Oh, <laughs> well, maybe not helpful there, but interesting for sure. Or let it drain. Goro! I can do it! 
And then we can flip it at the last second to go there if we want. I don't see why not. I love the minecarts so much. Like, one of my favorite Zelda things, just minecarts. <laughs> Skyward Sword did it well, but this is an extreme. Now you go off. Now, yeah, we can do a cross section to get there, actually. Because that leads back. It's a whole loop. Uh, Oh, so it just cuts off. So, can... so it kind of locks a shortcut back. This was hard to access before. Gotcha. Hmm. But if I want to go that way, I think we hit that first switch. Oh, it was actually a little far. Yes. And we could start with that one and then hit the far one to make it go upwards. Hmm. What was that Can't do that, okay. Oh, flipper, <laughs> right. <laughs> Another. Why? Uh, I can't ha hold all these. Okay, well, one a rocket one. A mirror thing could be cool. Uh, Flamethrower is always cool. Taser, spring, minecart. Guess you don't need two cannon shields, and this one, judging by the shield type, is going to break soon. Yeah. We keep him blazing shield. I like it. And blazing shield. That and the hunters are so cool. that too. You know, yeah, I guess it's for a turnaround mechanism, right? Whoa. Nice. Oh yeah, you can have that, and then hit that one. Gotcha! It's all making sense. Very cohesive mechanism. These Gorons were very tactful. Brilliant engineers. Or Goron Zonai, whatever they are. I'm just going to pretend I understand the lore of this game. <laughs> Take that out later, okay. Um, no chest there. No chest there. Along with the captain. Or actually, just a soldier. <laughs> oh, okay. Arrows. Come on! I need a counter him. Okay. Yeah, not if I parry like that. Okay. Oh, he just goes in for a second. Okay. I guess they're just doing damage. Still too late. I need to learn how to counter these guys myself. Next is mine. You got them down half, I know. Ah, a little too early. There we go. I have to learn these guys. Mighty Zonite Lungs. We have two of these now. This one I've just been keeping in my inventory like the entire time. Is this... This is a long throw, and that could be good for uh, breaking ores, but I don't know if I really want to do that with this weapon. Um, but it's still a buff, and I respect long throw in this game, so. Much more than some other buffs. Let's see, what do we got? We got a lot of one handed, some two handed, and like one half damage spear now. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll just swap it, it's fine. If we were to put something on it, though, what would be our best? Thingy. 
I guess the captain one now. The chainsaw's 24. That's literally 35. Okay. Mm. Should I just build another chainsaw, though? Because I can. Because I can. Why not? There we go. 49 damage. The resonation's great. <laughs> Well, I dig that. Part of me always likes having one of these just in case I find uh, one of those giant blocky monsters. Mm. And for this, this is good, but there's a lot of one-handed stuff, you know? <laughs> yeah, when this breaks, that'll be our new one. So That's fair. Yeah, minecart ready. Go wrong. <laughs> Wherever you want to go. That is actually somewhere I have to go. Oh. Floor five. Ah, get off. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> What's up? Just a little weakling. Oh, wait. I hit the other one. Goodbye, carts. <laughs> Let's hope we didn't need that. Got a little more mechanical feeling. Oh. Okay, that's blocked off. Here I go. Oh, there we go. That was kind of in the way. Oh, we are going here. Good. Ooh, a ramp, I see. That's cool. What's this mess with hydrants? Oh, wait. No, the slab. Aha. Okay, it wants to build a better ramp. I get the puzzle, kind of. So if we, yeah, if we make platforms to stack, we just theoretically be able to build a taller ramp. Just three could add a lot to the angle. <laughs> that definitely could. Yeah, we'll try that. Goro. Yep. Go! Uh, I have a feeling that might happen. Okay. Uh, a little drop. Oh! <laughs> that could have been tricky. I have the right idea. So, let's get a little closer. Just that. There we go. Oh, wow. A little too much just with all that. Gotcha. I guess that was a big pu push to start with. Uh, but also, yeah, just changing how it's tilted on there. That, that could be better. Here I go! Go! Nope. It has to be kind of on it so he starts at the bottom and not blow it. Oh, uh, you know, but you just kind of moved. That was an on you sort of thing, you see? <laughs> oh, there we go. That was a group effort. So cool. Three more latches. This place is massive. I love this. Gorn noises, Rudania stuff. Okay, there's minecarts there. That was that an entry point or? Oh, food 
to me. Mine cart stuff. I can really just climb around everywhere. Okay, I do see that though. Maybe it's telling us to go here. Because now we can build a ramp, right? Here now I we go. know that ramps are really good. Hmm. It's an interesting point. There's all this stuff we just made. Let's put it to good use. Let's see why not. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get one more too. I, I dig that. Making your own platforms with the water. That's so cool that you can do that in this game. Oh. Wait, I see a someone. How did you get here? I didn't even know it was a back bay. Don't tell me you're just a bow guy. Oh, that's a... Gotcha. Him. No, attack me. Ah. Melee at me, please. Actually, just gonna swap into there. You know, that's fine too. Bernie Death. That looks like the next way. It's like a certain, like, you know, just like puzzle like linearity to this place. Like the next path is kind of hidden that way. There's always some sort of track that leads to another. Because it was once a cohesive facility. And I really dig that about this. Okay, this might be a little low, but we're gonna try it anyways. Didn't even work, but executive decision. Let's do one more platform. That was going to be too short regardless. But yeah, also how you choke up on it and the platform changes the elevation too. So if we're closer and it's more steeper. Here I go. Yay, uh, matter. Ooh. I guess it's that, yeah. That's what we came down initially, so maybe I didn't have to be that fancy. It just fe felt necessary to be fancy? Oh yeah, it was blocked off technically, so... I guess that makes more sense. Okay, so we made a good call. Wait, because <laughs> I'm glad we have the spear. Oh! Ah! No! Back! <laughs> okay, so we made a right call. Does this connect somewhere to simple I didn't see at first? So I guess what's stopping us from climbing into it? Not much. Hmm. I think we were supposed to fly up here. Oh, wait, is this that beginning? No, it's something else entirely different. Yep. Oh, Soldier for Reaper. Gotcha. One-handed sword. Um, again, it's like, what do we do? Um, we just have so many weapons now. Desperate Strength is cool, but I feel like we've been holding it for just... Hmm. <laughs> Maybe not the right reasons. It's been such a good talus weapon. Like, Desperate Strength with a hammer type is so good for taluses. Uh, that's awesome for just war breaking. Um, that we just got that, so I can't drop that. That's so good, we have to keep it. Some ice weapon. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to start using ice, ice stuff more. I know we have two. Let's keep this one in here. Let's use some stuff against the enemies. And whenever it breaks, then we'll go. Also, okay, we're supposed to go that way. Enter to the top. Yep. 
Can <laughs> I know it's good, it's just... Uh. Okay, well, we know where it is. The center room has two really good weapons. So. Just two left, Link. Two left. None. Fancy hat switches. Okay, this is so awesome. Also, yeah, welcome to everyone tuning in. I know we just started like a half hour ago, a little more. Uh, this dungeon is amazing. The music's building. I'll probably do this today and like the post dungeon stuff with the Gorons. I love Death Mountain. Like, I was already selling this game for the longest time, but this region really. Oh. What's coming up? So what actually is the way forward? It might have been this way, because we kind of ascended first. But yeah. You're not going to hit me. Weak one. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see this area. Okay, just like that little side passage. I think we looked at the other one. That's where I got lost. Because we went over here and there was... Yep, it was just that closed door. So this is the actual way forward, not ascending up. Uh, water puzzles. That goes far. Wait, what if we... Oh, it destroys the device. But not like we needed it. Uh. Okay. Let's go. There's a base over there. Oh, this. Okay. Did it break it? It did. The rebound. Good job, Yonobo. Oh, wait. No. Stop right there. I can do it. Momentum halt. This is the coolest place. What am I hearing? Oh, fire lake. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Let's do a different one. What if we ice? Can we ice that away? Doesn't look like it. There we go. Bye bye. <laughs> Trial of Sword with Lash. Ooh, ten arrows. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, everything else. And a shield that we don't need, of course. Yep, <laughs> always a shield we don't need. Uh, I'm, you know, this is damage now, technically. So. Here I go. Yeah, before we do the next dungeon, I'm maxing out on slots. I swear. I, can do it. I want everything. I wouldn't be surprised if we're already at the max weapon scaling. And not quite, because some stuff's gonna be crazy. Like, assuming the Hylian shields in this game, that's always the last thing to scale. This gonna be more intense. Oh, what the? We just climb right into this. Okay. Always another situation. Diamond! Yeah. Bye bye. And then you can hit the corpse if you want. Oh, no need. Thank you. We need more capsules. So, yeah, what is that structure? I kind of want to pin it for later use. Not too far off, honestly. We just didn't see it. Could be just a building platform, but I never know. 
Okay, is that for building a ramp? Good question. Oh yeah, there's hydrants, so. Wait, it's putting a... Why is it dousing the minecart in water? Would that do something? I'm not sure. It's like steaming right now. Huh. Either way, let's... I'm not sure there's an exact thing it's telling me to do. But there's a hydrant. I guess you put, you know, Hydra on a minecart. For our sake. Just a hydrant's fine. I like how the hydrants is such like a big deal in the wall, this area. Like I think every area has its own like piece of zone attack that's kinda synonymous with that. We learned about hydrants like first after entering the regions, so So what if we do that? How do we make that long one? We made long ones before, but I don't exactly know how. Okay. I guess we can fuse two of them, always. There we go. Get a little something. Yeah, build a little platform. Let's do that. Close. Whoa. All right. No, not the steps. Let's build and flatter. Like that. Of manipulating everything. So cool. So we make it three. Yep, three like that. But not like that because it has to be flushed. There we go. Yeah, not even a ramp needed, just a bridge. Gotcha. I can do it. Do it. Okay. But up here you can do that. So now you can do it. Go overcommit. Aha! The fourth gong. It gives you like rockets and stuff too, in case you really want to get crafty. Ramp up! So cool. Okay, one more left. I guess that was supposed to be like the first one in a way. We just kind of skipped to a midpoint. these guys. Get them! Yes! Blasting them off. In the lava, too. So much cruelty. Because the a swivel around track. Oh, chest! Oh, Daruk seam! Oh, I love that. Oh, that's so cool. Epic Goron music. I love that when the champion theme get uh, tied into the dungeon theme. Wait, come on. <laughs> okay, I get it, but still. Fresh one. It's like jazzy almost like the <laughs> Goron jazz. Okay, we're gonna keep going where we were. I miss that chest. I would like that chest. What's up? Yep. Close. 
No? Get on it. Go! Yes! We made it! That was clean. There's a whole minecart thing. I didn't try going that way yet. Does that just loop you back to the beginning? Okay. I want to see like every possible way for potential chess. So that's just a loop around. Gotcha. Oh, and yeah, that just takes you. Okay. Interesting. I like this. Yeah, we can just shoot you. There you go. You're great at that. Uh, young Daruk. Gotcha, so that's what that was. Okay, so it's just a giant loop from the one area where we got that chest. Which that's kind of cool. It's like the enemy scouting bay. Well, it's the main truck. I just have to check it all out because it's awesome. There we go. Keep that up. <laughs> Get hit the switches from here. Become a normal talus. There we go. No Ignito. Goodbye. <laughs> Interesting. Now it's quiet. Yeah, the music, music is so awesome here. What? Ah. <laughs> What's this way then? <laughs> oh, this is the first time you see the track switchers. <laughs> so we really just jumped into the middle of the dungeon. <laughs> Which I kind of like that better because we had to figure stuff out. I can do it. little rooms. Arrows. Floor three. <laughs> Undeserving, we just climbed out a wall. <laughs> Where's my minecart? Can we make it back in time? It only traveled that much in the whole recall. What caused you to move in the first place? It's okay. You're getting pushed. Go! Move it. Never mind. Heavy load. That. Okay, you can go. <laughs> then you want to ride. Oh. I love those jazz chords. It's jazzy, it's rocky, it's uh. has that freaky, you know, fire temple vibe still. <laughs> But also of the Gorons. Gorondia. So that's great music choice for Goron stuff and like this in Breath of the Wild. Oh, this leads you to where we were. Okay, so there's a very linear structure to this dungeon. I am way more glad the way we did it, honestly. Hmm. 
Oh, yeah, that final wing. That's like the first thing that we saw we couldn't reach. It was related to that, okay. Oh yeah, a little too bad. Gotcha. Oh, what? <laughs> we got swiped by it. That's so funny. Goro. Look at that. Oh, now we're here, okay. So that's actually how you get to this area. So this leads us with uh, the final question, which is also the first question. How do we get up there? Which I guess that's what the rockets are for then. That all makes sense now. Oh, I like a lot. <laughs> Build a workshop thing to get across treacherous gaps. Yeah, it's like that one puzzle where we had to get the Goron out of the mine. <laughs> like how everything we learn is coming together. Oh wait, there's a switch here. I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I forgot what they look like in this game. Was I a little thrown off? Yes. I can admit to that. Yep. Center bay. If it doesn't, do it. go. Do you know about you? It's offset my whole mechanism, but that's fine because it still worked. What the? Okay, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ow, oh, guys, you're just annoying. Not even cool. How do you tell if things out of charge? Oh, by looking at it. Little tail. There we go. Can't really flurry rush this guy or do anything too interesting. Oh, the fire and ice. <laughs> what the? That's a combo and a half. Jeez. That just looks awesome. That full elemental kill. Now we just need shock on top of that. Maybe I can get shock on top of that if I get a... Shock piece. Also, sorry, I'm really digging this look. Just Devil Link with the firepower. Also using ice. <laughs> sorry, that was cool too. Mm. Oh, the bridge thing! Yeah! These are all things we learned in shrines. That's uh, that's so cool. Because the only time we had to get a Goron over by, uh, you know, building like a rocket cart. A lot of stuff with hydrants in the past. The vehicle stuff we used outside and before that that we learned. And now we're doing the bridge thing like that one shrine. That's so cool how everything culminates. And the more you did and found before this, it's kind of just like one final test and it feels just so satisfying too. Just apply all that knowledge. I really dig that. Yes. <laughs> I love being rewarded for playing the game as thoroughly as possible. Woohoo! <laughs> So I'm just digging this so much. They thought they could hide that from me, too. I'm actually fine with the arrow chest now, because now we're actually running lower on arrows. 
using slightly more than we consume. We're kind of changing on our own now. Self-managing, it's okay. That's the final dungeon room, boss room. Find out what's up with the rocks. Hmm. Speaking of connecting, we do need to figure that out fully. Because even with this, uh... A very important one to build. Wait, it's behind it. Nothing. Okay. On the contrary, what's the importance of building this? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Just for the sake of hey, that's important. Now let's figure out this one. Unless we can just break one of these off entirely. Uh, pulling, no. Pulling, no. So for this... It seems more like it just trying to tell me it's a ramp, you know? Like, the bridge is broken. We could connect it if there was more. But a broken bridge is basically a ramp. And ramps are good for... You know about? Where are you, bud? They're down the stairs. You know, very civilized. Okay. That's all you need to do. Break it out a bit. It's still caved, kinda. Oh, that didn't do much at all. Let's just, uh. Oh. You can go up into that, but I think that's getting back out. This terminal seems to be somewhere here. It's up. Oh, gotcha. That's the point of this ramp. That wasn't the way forward. That was the tutorial. For this. I can do it. Sure. Go. That's epic. Okay. To go. Back up. The bounce and up. That is too cool. You know, we'll find, find this way. And this was busted, but I was trying to tell you to go up there. There we go. Fifth terminal. Now we can fight the boss. We explored most of everything, too. That's all the locks, Link. The door should open now. Let's go. The door should open. Thunders are so vast, I love them. I also always miss things like having like the mini dungeon and whatnot, but you know, this is pretty cool. I can't complain. Not mini dungeon, mini boss. Did I say mini dungeon? <laughs> I think I did. But it's cool, like, this game has more of, like, a like key item feature in terms of, like, an item you get in this segment that actually helps you with the dungeon. Which, in this game, it's Yonobo. So. Or this one. The other one, it was obviously Tulin. And, like, you can use them after the fact. But it's not, like, a required thing you need outside the world. It just helps, you know? So I like that. Because Breath of the Wild didn't have that. You got all the runes at the start of the game. Uh... This is nice. The required abilities for this segment of the game, but they're helpful outside of it. <laughs> oh, wait a sec. I was like, that's not going to quite work, is it? Minecart hook. <laughs> I mean... I mean... <laughs> 
Is this what we should do? And then we attached one of the rockets we just got to that. Seems like a dumb idea. <laughs> do I have a smarter idea? Not really. That's fine. Uh-oh. Oh! Ah! Ah! It worked! <laughs> I love when dumb ideas work. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> okay, um, kind of, kind of. Just get up there. Yes. <laughs> nice. That wasn't too bad. Where does this lead? Is it somewhere we were or... Because we did all the terminals. I just haven't seen this yet. Oh, just some loot. Okay. Equally as good. Ruby. <laughs> I could really use that. Thank you for not showering me with a weapon I can't pick up. And was that it then? Music got all quiet after that final terminal. Just. Uh oh. Yep, that seemed to be the case for that. Um, if we go back to where we were, which was quite a while ago, I should see what we can do by climbing this place. Not well, like that. Because I guess you can BS a lot of it if you want it to. Oh, they make that kind of hard. <laughs> Which I appreciate. But still, I just want to see the very top to see if we missed anything. I don't think so. It's just this place is so massive, so it feels like we very much so could be. Okay, that takes us up to the center room. Uh, and to move forward, we did a... Uh, oh, it was there. That I do remember. And we had to build a ramp up. Oh, it was a ramp up to there. Okay, gotcha. I kind of remember what we're doing. Like that. And take that left turn. Perfect. So take, hit both. <laughs> Oh wait, I think I did mess that up. <laughs> oh, we got it. I see. <laughs> that was worth it. Plus, I'm down for one more joy ride around this place. <laughs> or to the final wing, rather. And then, yeah, the boss might be that three-headed dragon thing, I'm not too sure. I hope the boss requires some actual, you know, beefing through. Because the wind boss was very easy, it just required a few arrows, honestly. But we got a lot of strong weapons, so I kind of want to use them up. You know, trade off. Okay, so that led here. And this is what we climbed up to get to that final one, right? Oh wait, there was a entrance here. No, it just leads there. So 
What do we do from here? I think just a good gliding point. Yeah, I think we checked all that from there or something. And then kept climbing up. <laughs> it does have a very maze-like structure, which I, I appreciate. Because it's interesting. I just remember we uh we blasted like a rock or something. Yeah. We compensate for all the ways you can BS ascend up here. Oh! That's not a very good place to ascend into. I see that. Of course we still tried it, but So I believe it was this area. See, that's the main. Okay. And then I think it's supposed to fall into the final one. Yep, okay. So you do that, you go into there, then you fall down, and then do the final. So that's kind of like the recommended order. It's like, do we want these chests? Because we debated it, and then we didn't do it. But it's just weapons that we don't need. <laughs> Every name for whatever, we know that there's two weapons in the center. Area. But I can't find any more chests, so. And it seems like you can come back to these dungeons, unlike Breath of the Wall Divine Beasts. So that is fine. Put off the fire. Oh, <laughs> brother, it's gonna be the fire. But alright. Save right there. Whew. Let's do this. I'm very excited. Huh? It opened. Okay. <laughs> we still think Zelda is not bad. Can Link say something already? Like, Link knows that this is not the real Zelda. <laughs> but. Oh, wait. This is a interesting arena. It's rounded. Okay, no bow. I can do it. Let's go. Charge. Whoa! The track. Where's Zelda? I don't know. I think that's the source of all the uh, food poison. <gasps> Malasai. Uh-oh. Who's this? Meat monster? Oh no! Oh. Is inside the monster? You know we'll stop. <laughs> It's Link's fault. Marbled Goma! Scorch of the Fire Temple. Uh-oh. That's so cool. Yep. <laughs> A little too armored for my taste. Jeez. Okay. Marbled Go- That's a new enemy, okay. No idea how we're gonna get a good picture of that. <laughs> We gotta get a good picture to start with. Hit him! Barely. Oh, sorry. There's no way to get a good picture of this guy. <laughs> Convinced. That one even turned out better. <laughs> Go to the very edge. Need to fill this picture book. I don't care. That's fine. Never perfect. Uh oh. Ah. Blow up. Oh. Yes. Okay. Can I climb it? You can climb it. Good. Well, on him. Okay, Melisai, <laughs> staring right at me. Ooh. 
Yes, okay, not bad. Pretty weak weapon too. Oh. Get him, I'm gonna start the climb. Oh yeah, you can bust off the legs, can't you? Oh wait, what the? It's like a drill, who? Glad I saw that coming. You know what that is. Oh. Blow up. <laughs> that too, I guess. We'll try the leg method after this. That just seemed too right, you know? Okay. Three, four. That's why it's badly damaged. Now blow up the legs. Gotcha. That's it. Okay, easy in its own way. Good, first one down. Um, let's see. <laughs> what do we crush him with? Whatever's damaged. That's our only spear. Improve flurry rush. Ah. Uh, ah. <laughs> this one. Go for it. I don't care. Halfway. <laughs> Keep marble going on. <laughs> Gun? <laughs> oh! Recall one and escape. <laughs> yep. It's okay. <laughs> I played the Blizzard boss from Twilight Princess. I know how to dodge that. <laughs> oh, we can. Wait. Please tell me this works. It would! Uh. Actually, no, because you... I guess that works, too. Ah. I bet you can. Fine, I'll test that theory. Go! Keep going! Woo! Nice! This is awesome. I don't care. Okay, never mind. I should care. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five! Yes! Awesome. And then... Bloop. This is so cool. I can run him up the walls. Oh, what the? Because you can keep getting him if you want. Go! Never mind, Invincible. I'm going to do the same crap. Okay, fine. <laughs> you get out of there. Get him! Yeah! <laughs> Looking at that explosion, just, yeah. <laughs> we dodged a big one right there. The music's so awesome, too. Marbled Goma. Okay, um, what's our finisher? Flux Smasher? <laughs> We're saving that for a rainy day, though. Um, you know, screw it. With this one. Big damage, get him! And defeated. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> the power of Yenobo rock rolling. <laughs> that is indeed the Goron run. <laughs> That's how he saved Goron. Yeah. The source of corrupted food. That was cool. <laughs> no sign of Zelda. Clearly. They really thought they could stop us with that beast. We dealt with t tons of rocks. It's like, that's the one thing we can do in this dungeon. Ride my cart and rock. So you're just playing into our strengths. The tear. Okay, I can't wait to meet this Goron Sage. That was so much fun. Jeez. Gimme, 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 gimme. Give
What's this sage gonna look like? Your noble little rock. Little rock. I must be heard that voice. Are you the one who's been talking to us this whole time, Goro? This dude's beefed. <laughs> yes, oh yeah. I am your ancestor from a time long past. It looks like they were Dania helmets. Wait, did I they all follow that? The first king of Hyrule as a mighty warrior and as a sage who, like you, could command fire. You fight using your body as a weapon. Impressive. You are my descendant. Pride of the Gorons. Well, you know why it's two Goron father figures. You defeated that monster, the source of those foul rocks. But it was the Demon King who summoned it. He sent that monster to keep you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Secret stone? Demon King? Huh. So this is the first you've heard of any of this. Then listen carefully to what I have to say. Okay. Let so me cool. tell you about the imprisoning war and the duty of our people. Nice. We got a glimpse of it from the Rito, but new perspective. Many years ago, in the kingdom of Hyrule's earliest days. A great evil, the Demon King, sought to conquer the kingdom of and kill everyone who resisted his rule. Rol, so the first king of Hyrule, rose up to oppose him, along with me and five It is like the champion helmets, helmets, like the divine helmets. And to fight the demon king, Rol trusted us with secret stones. Oh, that makes so much more sense though, the divine beasts are based off of that. Incredible artifacts that amplified our power. I stood beside my fellow sages as the Sage of Fire, stronger than ever with my secret stone. However, we were no match for the Demon King. Even my strongest blows weren't enough to break him. Rauru understood that we couldn't overcome the Demon King. In one last brave act, our leader sacrificed himself to imprison that monster. That was the imprisoning war. No link and was then there. Some time later, the Sage of Time, one of the six sages, came to me. Her visit would set the Goron's duty in stone. So it was after Rauru's sacrifice. The magic restraining the Demon King will be undone. He will return. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. But Link will need help. Lend him your power. Your fire. The Goron's mastery of fire. In that moment, the duty of the Goron people was clear. I'd like nothing more than to smash the Demon King. I swear that when the Demon King returns, the Sage of Fire will awaken again. The Goron Sage and the Goron people will fight alongside your swordsmen. So cool. I love her outfit so much in the game, too. And like, you know, the Goron, the Zonai mask too, so. What you need to know about like how they all have that, Zonai. And of our people's duty. You saved Goron City, but the Demon King is still out there. A smoky spirit dimension, this place is so cool. The clouds. You know, Bo, little rock. Take up my secret stone and honor the pledge I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Fight alongside the swordsman. Link. So it's my duty to help you fight? 
Hmm. And he wants me to inherit this? Really? No. Uh, I don't know if I'm nearly as great as my ancestor was. Like all the sages are youth too. But then, if I don't help out, I'd be letting everyone else down. There's no way I'll let that happen. I can do this. Yeah, you know what character development. Awesome. Nice. Some new sages. I am the sage of fire. I've got an awesome new power, Goro. <laughs> <laughs> That was so good. This music is just chilling my entire spine. Link, hold out your fist. <laughs> Baby. Hmm. You can count on the Sage of Fire. I'll fight by your side till the very end. <laughs> and take this. It's proof I stand with you. You get his avatar now. I love that. This is so cool. There's just so much of this. Yep, another ring. We now have two. So can we have them both out then? With the most avatar. You'll be able to call on my power anytime. I'm literally a god now. <laughs> I promise. I'll be strong enough to fight beside you, no matter what happens. Okay, let's head back. Whoa, that was so good. These just quest lines are so awesome. Especially this one. Like the reading one was fun, just Especially with the scenery and stuff, going up the whole Sky Island thing. But this was so cool, just going to the depths, the secret fire temple. And, yeah, <laughs> solving the meat crisis with the Gorons. <sighs> Rock monsters. And I guess they'll all destroy, right? Just gonna cold turkey that addiction. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> For the records, <laughs> those are the best facial expressions I've ever seen of a group of Gorons. Da -da 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 -da. For the full theme. <laughs> oh, so cool. Jeez, it's such a satisfying feeling just with how much things have built up over this whole segment. Yeah. Ludo. Hope your back feels better. <laughs> I guess I'll be mad at you, Nobo. <laughs> he literally carried the Goron, uh, well, helpline for two games in a row. I've just been more careful. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good president. Huh. Oh. To thank you too. Yeah. <laughs> Cover the marbled rock roast. Smiles are coming back to Goron City. So I'm very huh. glad too. Like, oh. <laughs> Link, please explain it. <laughs> you know by now that wasn't Zelda. They need to know too. It's also strange. Hmm. Yep. By choice. <laughs> They're piecing it together a little bit. I think that Zelda's one of the bad guys. Huh? Ah. Protect 
pretending to be Zelda. Huh? All right. Yeah, I still wonder how that ties in. Like, is it like one of Gandalf's abilities to have like a clone of Zelda, like a puppet Zelda? Talking about the Sage of Time. Mm. And the Sage looked a whole lot like Princess Zelda. She is the real Zelda. So that'll be weird. Mm. And that means that was the real Zelda we were following. Huh. No. <laughs> it's like, hmm? Or not. <laughs> or maybe. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Too much for Goron brain to handle. They just yep. know brute strength and eat rock. Yeah, there we go. Huh. I wonder when that ties into the story. After all four dungeons? I still don't even know about the Master Sword yet. I, I can't even get inside the Lost Woods. Ooh. There we go. Vol of Yenobo, Sage of Fire. Proof of the Vol Yenobo, used to summon or dismiss the avatar of him. That's cool. We're digging it. Also the whole depths there, which is cool. But this, yeah, we have to... Lizard? Okay. Oh, Everyone seems to be back. I gotta talk to everyone. One time with off rack. You gotta relax now. Yay. Everything's saved, kinda. We represent the Gorons. <laughs> oh. We're saying about the other Zelda. We're mining the marble rock horse on the north side of Death Mountain. She says something kind of funny. I have to go near the lizard links. It was a cave. Oh, because the, uh, the Divine Beast helmet was there. Don't much hear about them lakes these days. <laughs> Called Old Nursery Rhyme Bottom. One brother hunts, what the other brother hides. Two lizards fighting over what's inside. But they call the lizard brothers. Search high and low for them back in my younger years. I always thought treasure must be there somewhere. Yep. And that's the cave we busted open. Forgotten all about my search for the lakes. Where did they start the hunt again? Halfway up Death Mountain. My hunch way back went, led me to the north side. Hmm, there's a dig site there. Hi. Unless it's talking about a different one. Because one hunts with one hides, so was it behind the other? Because it was in between the two, what I found. Or it might have been that. Yep, a cryptid named after a divine beast. Red hot treasure. Ah, yeah, we did find that a bit ago. You know his partner, all right. So maybe the ancient armor is in this game then, if there's the divine beast helmets. Wait, but I didn't see the. Hmm, I don't know. Those brothers really do exist. There we go. It's not a dangerous place. Zelda was just trying to keep people from. Or Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Despite that, you know, Bo used to always pester me. Boss this, boss that. <laughs> no, he's a sage. Always been a simple fella, so you can't always count on him for everything. But he gets the job done. <laughs> it's like if you run into a wall. Oh, you know, Bo. I'm trying to remember anything that might help us for Zelda. And a hazy with the mask, so. Anything weird happen? Blacksmith Rohan and his apprentice Fugo. Rohan and Fugo, okay. Been arguing a lot. Yeah, the Boulder Breaker. So maybe we can get that now. Or, you know what Co provides is a high quality offer at a low price. Mining came to a dead halt because of the supply need. Okay. Feel bad for Romello. The Rudo who always treks here for good ore. Oh yeah, that's the person you could sell ores to for cheap. Oh. Or for a better deal. Yeah, because you buy in bulk. I'm just gonna keep asking. Uh, little Goron wandering around the area. 
Okay, so it's like all the quests now. Uh, searching for a place called Gor Gorandia. Mm. We did help that one, though. Oh. Maybe we have to keep helping him. Mm. Oh. Old mine we turned into amusement park. Oh, yeah! We, we kind of saw that. Uh, yeah, we have to check that out now. Oh. Okay. Minecart land. Mm. Hylian named Chemo's in search of some hot springs. Oh, yeah, that's in the tunnel we didn't check out yet. Mm. Okay. And, yep, we, we actually talked to him without even knowing we were supposed to talk to him. Or that he would give a lead. But he did. So, it was the one tunnel where there was, like, a rock rose quest in Breath of the Wild. That's where we have to go, I believe. Wow. Yep, keep an eye out. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep, okay. There we go, we saw everything. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And there's the Gerudo. What I want now. Habak. Yeah, they used to always be here and you could sell gems in bulk to him. Sabak is an expression where I'm from. It means good day. Sava. Mm -hmm. Ramella, a jeweler from Gerudo Town in southwestern Hyrule. The ore that Inobuko handles are high quality, so you travel here to procure them. Mm. <laughs> Aren't any available here? What about these? Wait, amber. Oh, okay, it's specific things now. Buy 10 pieces for 200 rupees. Oh, okay, so this person does exist still. Just you know, not as good of a deal. But amber sells for 10 in this game now, right? 10 pieces for 200 rupees is actually better. Ah. <laughs> Sarkuso. Sarkso is it another expression where I'm from. It means thank you. Sark. Eh? Often looking for a different ore at different times. Okay, so this person still exists. This is who you should sell your ores to. So buying and selling. Hi. Hello. Setting my haunch is so long, not working that my rupees are all gone. Sapphires from Yoko stores are half the normal price. <laughs> mm. okay, so ambers are usually worth not as much. I was looking at thistle, thinking it was amber. Yep, not me missing out everything. Uh okay, I'm not used to the symbol. It's 10, so it does sell for more. Uh opals are 30. So this is. Used to be 30, used to be 60, used to be 70, so that really went down. Flint might have been the same, if not more, in this game. Topaz was 180, I believe Sapphires were 280, these are 210, so that's 100 difference. Diamonds are the same, though, because diamonds are truly unbreakable, so. Wow. That only really makes sense. Here, let's see if we can get some more money, because... <laughs> Sakaro, so for selling me the amber just now. So we have more ore. 10 topaz for a thousand rupees, so that's a hundred apiece. What did I say they were? 80? Yeah, why not? Ah. Yeah. Mm. Rubies, so 130 we're getting a piece? I don't care, I could use the money, couldn't I? We'll get more gems. Um, let me see what the values of things are. So Topaz is, okay, 80, so we're getting 20% more value out of that. Okay, so 20 more apiece for Topaz is 20 more apiece for the rubies. So the profit margin for selling rubies is not as high, because... To the Gerudo person, Amber's worth double. These are worth, like... Uh, I guess it'd be a 25% increase, because 80 to 100. Um, this is even smaller, because 100 to 130 a piece. Or wait, was that... S yeah, sapphires I had to do. Yeah. Do you need sapphires? Uh. Yes, 10 for 170. Uh, might as well. <laughs> now we're getting money in this game. <laughs> we're liquid. So let's see, 170. Um, where's my sapphires? Sorry, I didn't see him. Did we only have 10? Okay, we must have. Okay. Uh, wait, was it 130? Damn it. 
Okay. Well, if, when we get a sapphire, we'll know. But we got 170 a pop from it. I believe. What's next? Diamonds, which you don't have. 10 for 50. Okay. And I think this is identical to the Breath of the Wild one because it's a 10% increase. So, sell, sell 10 diamonds, get one. With the value of one free. Okay. Also, oh. Kato and Impa. <laughs> we did see some geoglyphs. Uh, I've been wondering. Geoglyph in the Gruda Highlands. Yep. You point into the next one, which that's where we need to go. Shaped like a person. One in the Highlands and then one above it. That's the next one and the following one. Greetings. <laughs> Keep marching forward day and night. It is safer out here. So travel any time of day. <laughs> Very fashionable. All the mushroom hats and uh, just the hooked boots. Ah. Mm -hmm. Girlfriend is waiting for me back at Woodland Stable. Don't drag your feet. Wait a minute. The thing you're wearing, that's the thing I wanted to buy. <laughs> yep. I love how they're looking for all the treasures. And if you wear them, they comment on them. I know I have to buy clothes like that. Canny. Canny. Well, I do want to buy the final piece of Flame Breaker. Because getting that fireproof buff could be cool. In all honesty. Sorry, one arrow for me. So we have that. That is 1400. Yeah. So lava inside uh, the caves. Yep. Uh, it is the helmet we didn't get, yeah. I'm making sure. Uh, and those prices stayed the same, so good to know. And now we can't do the full thing. I'm gonna hold off though. Until we actually have it to level two. Because that's how you get fireproof, which can be very handy. No fire damage. What's strange? Mm. Marble rock roast. Just up and banished. Yep. <laughs> City's bustling on again. Got time in our hands. Take a vacation? See the moon. Wait. Think about the place we were born, Trey. Remember how the full moon shone on the ground there? In fact, there's a great idea. Huh. Some sort of flat field in the lava area. There was like a spring very far south. It was kind of flat. Uh-oh, full moon. He's dropping. Gorns are born on the land. Oh, born of the land. Born from the same place. We're rock brothers. <laughs> rock brother elders. Born in a cave. But the full moon shone so brightly, lighting up the darkness of the cave. Mystical thing to see. Oh, okay. Can find which way the moon goes. <laughs> that it was the middle of the day and not night. Maybe it's more a riddle then. Like, maybe it wasn't the moon, just some sort of light. It looked like a moon. Hmm. It was somewhere at Lake Ferona in Elden Canyon. Hmm. Let's pay attention to the day cycle there. See a picture or something that shows the full moon shining on the ground in the middle of the day. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to take it with a grain of salt for now. Moon grays and gorons. Uh... An eclipse at a certain point? That wouldn't make sense. Uh, Lake Ferona and Elden Canyon, which I believe... Yeah, okay. So it's very far south. Um, it's got to be some sort of reflection. There's a big hot spring pool. We've been nowhere close yet, so maybe... Don't worry about it too heavily right now. It's interesting to keep in mind. I'm sure it's going to be a cool uh, puzzle to figure out. Full thing or rest this way? We don't need a rest. Well, thank you. Huh? 
I love this fire helmet with the shirtless tattoos and then the arm with all the weapons. That's a good look. <laughs> Rather, I love the look. We can buy more Goron Spice. Or eventual cooking recipes. Sugar for... Yeah, because might as well. Can leave bite out of that shops. What do you have to say? Wish you could sell things for cheap, just like the ore. But we're importing all of it. Even the spice? <laughs> Maybe a local import. Because that's the only normal shop that sells Goron Spice, from what I'm aware of. It was that and some wandering travelers that sold it. Love how that doesn't break it, just indestructible. Jeez, literally. Oh my god. Pots are as tough as Gorons. <laughs> Literally. Break, you damn pots. <laughs> Fine. You're getting Pikmin sorted. Thank you. Apple. It's funny, it's not even very toasty here. But the boulder breaker. Yeah. Fugo Rohan. Some gal. Up and left the workshop in the middle of training for some marble rock roast. And all the elders are gonna be <laughs> being mad at the ones who are slacking. I'm done with you. No excuses. He needs to prove himself. <laughs> yes, the final mission from the boss. Well, the materials, how do you intend to do this? Uh, cobble crusher, five pieces of flint, and three diamonds? Jeez, well, we have the cobble crusher, and we have flint, and we have three diamonds. But you gotta forge your first one, it looks. Do not have money or materials? Okay, so that's what diamonds are good for. I'm trying to be optimistic about the materials for the boulder breaker. Boulder breaker? Historic weapon. Because Druk had it, but also in the cutscenes, it was the weapons of, like, the original sages, so... These are weapons really passed down, even... Free Druk and all that, and champions. Art of crafting is passed down through generations. I was gonna teach my apprentice Fugo, and he was obsessed with the roast, right? right. <laughs> like all the other young Gorons. Oh, wasted. Yep. We can do it. I'll give you the materials. <laughs> Yep, there you go. <laughs> he was surprised. Yeah. This will be our first champion weapon then. We didn't do the post uh, Rito Village stuff because we that's where we ended the stream after the dungeon and then I kind of got sidetracked on the next one. So it's going to be perfect. Pounded into life. I hope to repair it doesn't cost that much, too. I need, need to touch it to know. A blunt yet sturdy edge. We've done good. I've seen many a boulder breaker in my time, but this, one of the finest. <laughs> yeah, put three old diamonds into that. Better be pretty fine. I have your stuff up now. This forge is yours. <laughs> One from, no, I'm not teaching you to. Okay, it's yours. Yeah, that was the old Forge guy that was always here. Perhaps I would have never been able to do this. And now I get to have it. 38 damage! That's really good for a two-handed weapon in this game. Two-handed weapon was once wielded by the Goron champion, Daruk. Daruk made swinging around look easy, but a highly would need immense amount of strength. Yeah. Come back here if it breaks on you. I'll need materials, but make it just as good as before. Three diamonds for that, but... Soul of the Gorons. There you go. Wow. 38 for a base weapon. That's it's so insane. Hopefully it lasts an insane amount of time. 
Okay. There we go. Try out the new minecart land. I, I have to see this. Okay, boulder breaker. Demolisher, yep. So I'm looking at the uh, compendium, or I was thinking about it. Rather, uh, how do we get there? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Find hammer weapons really quick. Um, there we go. There's cobble crusher, blank spot, and boulder breaker. Makes me want to believe that the stone smasher exists, but I have not seen it yet. And at the same time, is there drill shaft? Because drill shaft would be under spears. It would be with the specialty race spears, like under here. But there's nothing even close to it to compare it with. I didn't even see a feathered spear yet. It's like on the ground, just that being held. So they're probably very rare, regardless. So I still have hope that the drill shaft is in this game. But it's like a one of a kind somewhere. Clock a lock a zoom. They're playing. Django made my cart land the best. And I'm the stranger. <laughs> okay, I gotta see this. My cart land sounds awesome. Because yeah. <laughs> all the Minecraft stuff's been amazing in this game, so. Ooh. Telling me it's even better? You can help build it, Django. Yep, we saw where it was. Wow. Yeah, Gorn's back to work. My cart land was completed safely. All in like an hour span, probably. Tired of some hot springs. Start with the Goron hot springs. Maybe we'll take the Simmer Stone. Okay. They're the most famous hot springs. <laughs> yep. You told me about a place called Simmerstone Springs. Yes. Uh, so it's down Gorkle Tunnel, right? Yep. Further south in Goron hot springs. Because there's a connoisseur, like a Hylian connoisseur, who really wants to find it. So I'll make sure to tell him once we go there. Okay. It's cool even, like, figuring stuff out throughout. So, just not all at once. So I kind of... Yep, it was that guy. He moved in. Hi. With the helmets. In. Red rocks have vanished and the Gorons are acting back to normal. Yep, Simmerstone's... Yeah, they're all pointing to talk to that elder, which we did on our way to the dungeon. Talk to you, Novo. Mm. Yep, okay. <laughs> I am the king of the Gorons. It looks so cool, I can't get over this. Nope. Oh, that's really awesome, though. Can you get out, please? <laughs> Got that Korok. Okay, what's our normal breaker weapon? <laughs> That's what I have the Cobble Crusher for, but... Yeah, clearly not the best now. Minecart land seems pretty fun. See, Minecart land, check out that hot spring. I'm trying to sell that one riddle with the moon. It's like three things. It's kind of pressing the city a bit. Closest of which is my car land. So I don't see a problem with doing that. So I like how there's a whole minecart thing in. We didn't even take that way. My car land. So cool. We helped them. They're festival lights. I I like all that. I guess you can buy. I didn't check the diamond buy price. Probably a thousand. Yep, half off. Oh, maybe you first. Oh yeah, they didn't find Gorondia. We found it. Because <laughs> the first part of the quest was like, hey, we'll help you. There's weird vehicles and exciting treasures. Didn't find any minecart tracks. <laughs> Gotta check out the minecart tracks. Don't follow me. Well, you did it to yourself. Where are you going, buddy? Because you have to go through the volcano to get to Gorondia. What you going on? <laughs> Seeker tracks.
Oh, there it is. Uh... It's gotta be down those tracks. They just think it's so simple. Oh, rocks are falling in the tracks. <sighs> Lucky for you, I'm an expert with this. Oh, there, that's actually a lot of rocks. Uh, I can help. Okay, so, something basic? Sure. Snap. And we'll recall afterwards. It's fun. <laughs> We'll come back, don't worry. But. But, but, but. Let me help. I need my construction cart to go down there. Please don't take it away. Okay. I mean, I'm the one who built that. Fine. Maybe that way. I will help here. Oh, it's from like the crater breaking, maybe. I don't think these were always here. A little further. Woo oh, on the track. Oh, jeez. That was kind of fun. All right. Try again. Yay. Kinda. Now he should be just fine. Yeah. They're gone. Oh. Whatever, you can use them now. <laughs> the method is irrelevant. The results matter. The cart is ready. Why oh, do you know I wanted to use that to <laughs> Got superpowers. Super Zonite powers. No different from what others can use. I mean, maybe not Ultramarine, but <laughs> got the tech. Okay, uh, put it on the tracks, yes. Is that what your card is? The one with the cushion? <laughs> Don't want any bruises on my tush. So, I, I, I can respect that. Uh, card is ready. Now it's like actually ready. Uh, and so am I. I'm coming with you though. Like, I won't leave you alone. It's a ride for me too. <laughs> We're going to minecart land. Oh my god, he's going to think minecart land's Grandia, isn't he? I can sense this kid. Just any excitement is good enough excitement. It's the real deal. Oh. Yeah. I, you know, I just know him, so. <laughs> Grandi is around here. I'm still here. Almost overheard. Want a reward? Another one of those. Thank you. <laughs> Grandia is... Uh... <laughs> it's going to be minecart land. Please. That'll be so funny. Ancient city of Grandia. Oh! Yeah, we have two rings now. Wait, there's five potential rings, though. I wonder if Zelda can fight with you. Can someone his avatar. I can't have both. Okay, I was hoping that was the case. Yep. Nice. Oh, this is the guy who was trying to fight lizards, wasn't it? Yep. Come on and play. Fireproof lizards on the brain now. Ah. Yeah, sensitive to noise. Okay, we saw that guy before. Just a lizard hunter. Lizard. Yep. On my brain for the moment, too. So I feel ya. We have more than we ever need. 24. Oh. They're just trying to sort, and it's like, never mind. Um, 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 I like seeing my bug collection. It's kind of nice. Yep, more of that than the Hightail. Because we used some, I remember. Gotta keep all of them. <laughs> keep all of them safe. 
Is that minecart land? Southern mine. Where's minecart land? Aha! Visit minecart land. Safety is the only way. Welcome to you. You know what co fit finally finished building? The long awaited attraction minecart land. Okay, safety has to be good. Is it just down there? Gotcha. Okay, that's where the kid went. Well, after that, well, first let's check out this, then do that. We're going to minecart land. This is so awesome. Break your stock for one arrow. Yep, rubies and flint. 220. Open for business. Yeah, Blade On's finally here. <laughs> so hooked on the rock roast. Yeah. At least you understand. I'm going back to normal. Normal, happy, go on selves. He's like, what? Ha. Um, yeah, I was trying to break that one. And just one hit, because... Oh, whoa! Hi. We're getting killed over here. <laughs> Potentially. We don't really have a weak weapon. I'm going to hoard the boulder breaker for a bit. So that's kind of cool. Love that guy. Oh, water thing. There's so many ways we can go. Well, my cart land is the priority, obviously. But, but, you know what? Uh, just give me a moment, because before I do anything, I do want to uh, use the restroom. That was really fun doing the dungeon, and this post stuff's gonna be awesome. So minecart land next. Uh, but give me like three minutes. Um, I'll save up right there just in case. <laughs> I don't think a rock's gonna fall on my head, but you can never be too careful now. Uh, yeah, just give me like three minutes. Restroom break really quick. Uh, hope you guys are doing well though. This has been very fun. <laughs> we'll keep doing some Goron stuff today because I like I like my Gorons. Um, in the meantime. We will have Penny watch the stream. There we go. Penny and Oogie goes on top. So, if you can see him. There we go. Give me like three minutes. Goodbye. The glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. The 
endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Hello. I'm back. Oh, two of them was chilling too. Thanks, you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Also, I see the constantly rotating uh, flux core thing. We still have to fight one of those guys again. It's It's been a little bit, but not like I always know where they're going to be, so. <laughs> um, they're pretty fun fights. I love the, th uh, the third one a lot, which I believe is the max one. Because uh, their core part like always shifts around a lot, which is kind of cool. So it makes the fight very interesting. You gotta be very fast. Yeah, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, this, I'm not even sure which number stream this is. What is this now? Like stream number 13? 14, I think. So we've been going for quite a few hours at a crack each time. This one won't be as long now because I do have an appointment later. So, uh, but still enough time to do a lot of stuff. It's always fun stuff. Okay, these, I think you actually gotta jump from a decent height now. Yep. It's no longer you can just jump in from whatever. Like, you gotta actually do the jump. There we go. So I think if you don't have a... Or it could just be a dive animation, too. 35 seeds to the next weapon slot. Yay. So much. I do recognize we need... Oh, that's a hammer weapon. So I can start mining ores. This area is cool. It's like... My cart line's a daytime activity. Amusement park. But these Vivy Hot Springs is so nice right now. Hmm... What's well, a good punisher? <laughs> oh, this this can punish. <laughs> Anything can really punish though. This? Of course it can. <laughs> That's really it. Night shield, okay. Not, not that we need all that now. <laughs> all zonite stuff currently. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. We got Spiny Bone Club. Not quite a hammer. Um, so one singular rock, please. Uh, like any rock, this is a rocky area. There's a singular rock. Just take the rock octos. Take that. <laughs> All for the balloons. It is a really neat area. The lava falls have cooled. Peaceful Springs. I like how that replaced Lava Fall. 
And there is a camp there. I think we saw that slightly from Goron City. Underneath the Goron City Bridge, though. Diamond! Yeah! <laughs> and banana jump. I think three of those make a new uh, champion weapon. Yeah, either we're getting very lucky with diamonds now or we're very unlucky in the past. I couldn't tell ya. Oh, there's the giant metal box. For... I guess I could fuse the weapon to it. Oh, there's just one under here. There was a lot of these on Death Mountain in Breath of the Wild, so... Maybe that's why. Just for a little, like... Okay, but I think I'm saving my Boulder Breaker. I'm gonna fuse maybe a rare Talus Heart to it. That would be cool. Probably the most fitting thing to do with. Oh, we got this. Hmm. Try me, the cobblins. Go up. And then go down. Gotcha. So long. Oh no, what? <laughs> Not what I wanted. Uh, which one's the better path? That one, I believe. Keep going? Yep. You're in the path. No, Daruk! Maybe Daruk. It never works the way I want it to. Going up. This is the way. You know, they're just kind of flooring them. <laughs> what the? Uh, boulder? We got this? No! It will never be successful. Okay, there we go. Now go. Go, 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 go. No. Don't. You just stop moving. <laughs> there we go. Cobblin? You are the worst. Fine. You're gonna get literally. Not even stealth strike? <laughs> what? Ah. Wait, the. <laughs> I hear thumps. That could have been bad. <laughs> we couldn't even get it once. What bird? Hill camp. Yeah. Nope. It's okay. We're quicker. One. Two. No. That's better. Oh, there's a cobble up in there. <laughs> Not helpful. They're just destroying everything. Do I even need to fight in this game anymore? Ow. <laughs> For my own, uh, you know, redemption, maybe. Meet, 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 meet. There's one limited meat does to a guy. <laughs> Get hammer slapped. <laughs> Fine. Boulder Retribution! Come on! That was just my bad. Bye bye. <laughs> oh. Now we can go in. Ow. The mildest attack. <laughs> oh, Sky Shroom. Hmm. 
you know, his creativity only gets us so far today. Oh wait, no. Roll down, get him! No way! <laughs> There's not even any fairness in that, but go. Now you got it. Now you, you. Wait, yes? <laughs> that was so pathetic though. Go! There we go. Okay. Baby damage. Let's be a little real. Oh! Too late to... Thank you. Go for it. Oh! <laughs> it's cool having them fight, but at the same time... It makes them through Flurry Rush not as good. Because <laughs> you can never land the counters. It is fun for just punishing them though, so I will I will give it that at least. If that is your goal. Mission accomplished. So sure. Yeah, there's a good chance I might deactivate other abilities in the future too, because if I have four people fighting and I want to do some stuff of my own. <laughs> well sometimes it's fun to see, so I'll, I'll have to give it that. I like the giant like crawl battles in this, with, like the constructs fight the goblins. You you can like break the barrier in between them so you you know aggro each other first, and you just watch the battle take place and then take on the victor. Good. Um. Oop. Frosty. No, when do you finish a job? Uh, Ghost Yonobo. You got this. Woohoo! <laughs> Punished. That was some good punishment. Okay. Arrows were counts most. Ah. Chicken! Yay! Oh, some butterflies too? Oh, it's, oh, some other wings! Yes, okay. And. No, come on! Ah! Those are so good to have. I can never win. <laughs> Except when I do. Also, yeah, killing with different elements isn't changing the thing. Maybe it's not supposed to. That could be it. Maybe just when you actually hit the... You douse the thing in an element, it will affect itself. But okay, not bad. Um, We can change the boulder hammer with the spike one. I feel like that'll do more damage. Or maybe more durability, which is more important. Either way, hammer weapon. We have minecart land. <laughs> That just seemed to lead over there. So it's another way up to the northern mine. There's so many caves in the area, which I love. But I think we deserve our amusement park currently. Nut, 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 nut. Also, butterfly. We need this for some of the upgrades. No, no choo choo's interrupting, please. No! You, damn it, you know about! <laughs> I was just pressing A, not for the ability. <laughs> Goodbye, butterfly. So sad. The Legend of Zelda. A tears of always accidentally <laughs> activating the abilities. That scare off everything, or ruin everything. one piece. It's gonna be good. A diamond. Diamond of culinary food. So I'm checking the plans for Cephalinas because 
I think they're more common in the, the deserts, but there's still a set we need them to upgrade. Okay, the minecart track ended there. That could be something to check out because that leads to Gorgo Lake. Okay. Oh, it's quite a few ways to go. And all interesting in their own regards. Okay. Fun land, fun land. Southern Mine? There's somewhere here, right? Oh, yeah, wasn't there a cave or something? I think it's that one because it was pretty empty before. It was just like a giant circle around a main rock. So this could be a mini game. I like mini games. <laughs> nice. How's the Flint doing? 86? Okay. Good. The kid! You find Minecraft land? Yeah. They're following you? <laughs> but you got a little something. <laughs> yep, of course they confuse it for <laughs> Gorondia. There's Gorondians there too. <laughs> Inside the cave. It's a vehicle from Gorondian civilization. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. They were playing on a twisty spiral track and it looked fun. <laughs> that's like, that's like when you're a kid and you walk into a, like an olive garden and you think it's like the fanciest Italian restaurant on the planet, you know? It's like, yep, this is the ancient city of Gorondia because there's, there's a minecart and Gorons. <laughs> like, okay, buddy, but as long as you're happy. See, it's cute. Yeah, <laughs> the carts. Smiles start with carts. We got a customer. You ready, little brothers? Here we go. <laughs> From morning till morning. Smiles all the time. Get it together. What about your face? <laughs> I have to learn to be happy. <laughs> it's good. It's all their first day at the job. Because it's a new job. <laughs> Welcome to Minecart Land. Mm. Minecarts mean smiles. Ah. Brought to you by the one and only Yenobo Co. Mm. Okay, so it is a mini game. I figured as much. Oh, oh it's an archery mini game. Okay, on a minecart. Don't leave the carts. Gotcha. Oh, we can do that. Mm. Or deal carts. No outside carts allowed. Can we modify it though? Uh -oh. First ride is free. And ten arrows on the house. <laughs> that's that's nice. <laughs> Gonna scare away the customer. You gotta smile. <laughs> you have to learn, you know. Just proper customer etiquette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta be me, it's minecarts, you know? Like, yeah. It's a self-service kind of joint. <laughs> Open for business. All set. There we go. Let's do this. Go! Ooh. Oh, I like this music. It's jaunty. Ah. Oh. Boink, boink. I love this. I got so much I can get. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Riding around in minecart land, it's the best in the land. What the? I missed with the zoom in, but. No, you. Ah! <laughs> Never said it was gonna be easy. Yep, I see the things I missed, too. Can't use my Frenic for everything. Yeah, I missed a couple. So hard without the range. I see which one I missed, though. There's one inside the tunnel. 
<laughs> that, that was fun. I'm gonna use all my bows doing it, but it's worth it. <laughs> For sure. And announce the results. 11 targets. Makes you a winner. Red rupee. <laughs> Not too bad. I need to get everything now. For a high speed course. Oh. So that's just the introduction. Quick shot course. Well, having a quick shot bow will be good. Talk to Heathel. Oh. 20 rupees you want to play, 50 rupees for 10 arrows. That's 30 rupees for 10 arrows. Not. That's too bad, actually. Is it just five then? Okay. Hit all the targets. Uh, yeah, I need to hit all the targets. Just the game, please. Okay. Because I think there was... I don't know. I just saw one in a tunnel I didn't get, so... I definitely missed at least one. All set. And using the long-range bows to pick off the stragglers will be good. Damn, having a falcon bow would be so nice for this. It seems closer, but it's not. Yep. How annoying. Let's <laughs> get okay. Bottom ones we'll get later. <laughs> I lied with that. Oops. How do we miss? Oh, there wasn't one there. Crap. I just assumed wrong. There we go. It's the best bow for this. It's the minecart land. You gotta sing like a theme song to this. It's the minecart land. It's it's a great place, you know? Okay, so maybe I did get up. I'm not paying attention to like one of them, and that's my biggest downfall. Where did I miss the one? There's there's one I'm missing. It's probably one that's only visible at a certain place in the track. So zoom in does definitely does not help with that. Um Beat my record. Okay. Key to having fun is preparation. Modify the cart however you want. Guess I could use like keys. Hmm. Oh, arrows for next time. Thank you. Hmm. How about you? Heal? Slightly tougher challenge. Rapid fire. Quick. <laughs> Speed through the rules, because it's quick. Hop in the cart, shoot seven targets as quick as you can. No getting out. Okay. Seven isn't too bad. I can modify it. I don't know if adding a flamethrower will. <laughs> hmm. Add some beams, you know, like. <laughs> I don't know, honestly. What could be good? The cannon could be wild, but I only have one. Um, hmm. Yeah, what if I... I don't know, I just have this weird feeling, you know, where it's like... Would it work? <laughs> Screw it. We balls. All set. Let's get a hidden first. I don't know how much this is actually going to do. I could just be building a funny for the sake of funny. I'm an idiot. Yep, I knew this. I knew this would be just fine. Can't get all the minecart either. What if we recall back in place? Kind of. Keep going, keep going. This was such a mistake. Yep. 
Yeah. Oh, it doesn't even pop the balloon. Okay. <laughs> it's literally lasering right through it. Oh, well. I guess another go, and we wasted two beams. Give it another try. At least it gave me that chance. <laughs> I guess I might as well keep him on, because now it's not hurting anyone. It's cool that it saves the carts. So if you want more speed, you can, but I don't think I want that yet. So we're just going to roll with this. There is quick shot. Love quick shot. Always. There we go. A bit more confident. Nice. Oh, 18 seconds. That, that's pretty good. And yeah, quick shot makes it very doable. Let's hear the results. 1833. <laughs> yeah. Here's your prize. 50 rupees. Making a bit of pocket change. I wonder what like, the high score is for like a special prize. Or maybe just gotta do all three. Of course, my own. At death mo. That's only at minecart land. Oh, uh, the death mountain course now. Packs a punch. Okay. I'm out. Um. What if we do this again? <laughs> yeah, I just want to see if there's more. I'll take the arrows because it's worth it. <laughs> That's nice that they sell the things with it. They had to do that the horseback archery minigame in Breath of the Wild. But it was more of like a shop that was there. But it makes sense. It's like, you want to buy the package deal with the arrows? If you only get a purple rupee, that'll be like, oh. <laughs> but maybe there's a, what, 12 target reward? There we go. A little better at this. Got a feeling. Whoa. That was close. Nice. Is there any odd ones I'm missing here? I knew I was gonna mess that up. Because having just 11 targets is kind of odd. You know? It could just be 11. There's something under there, wasn't there? It was right at the end, wasn't it? I think it just is 11. I literally don't see any more than 11 targets. Doesn't feel right. Hmm. Beat your record. Maybe 10 was the base, but 11 was the record breaker. Okay, so that's, yeah, it's not gonna give us any. I'm out. Okay. <laughs> Death Mountain Course, interesting. That could be fun. <laughs> I like my Cartland. Very happy indeed. And yeah, we got the bullfrog in there earlier and whatnot, so. It all checks out too. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Grandia. <laughs> okay. Yep. You really thought I was the ancient civilization. <laughs> uh... I gotta try that Death Mountain course. Like that's that's gotta be what we do after we talk to them. Hello. Grandia. <laughs> they really thought it was that. I don't think so. Kind of felt like no one else tailing him. <laughs> This is my cartland, yeah. Chasing a huge lead. It ain't huge, I'm sorry. There's my cartland, the hot springs, you noble cool stores. Whole lot of stuff to see around here. Makes you wish you had a guidebook for Goron City. Written by your favorite reporter. Update the book's title though. How about Doma's Guide to Goron City? 
Amazing title. <laughs> They're writing it down. <laughs> they really thought that was a clever idea. It's a little funny. There's Lucky Clover on their arm. Lucky Clover Gazette. Well, I mean, hmm. Gorko Tunnel's right there. And that is for that hot spring. That could be good. There's always a tangent. By up there, I mean up there, really. Yeah. Gotcha. So yeah, what do you hear about Gorko Tunnel? It was just a rumor about a hot spring and how Hylian really wants to see it. Because that tunnel used to be something in Breath of the Wild. It was where a shrine was. Yep, birds flying above it. Uh, that was it. Gortman Cliff. No more rock roast here. I will check out the restaurant to see how that's changed. In this post-disaster area. Okay. Now do you guys want to take on everything? I still have to get that final ability. I had no, no idea. That or the champion's tunic. I literally don't have the slightest clue. Which is kind of funny. Shot. Uh oh, thank you. That made it easier. Not the bird bombs. No. Uh, uh. There we go. <laughs> Look at the straight shot. Uh oh. Get time bomb. Woo! <laughs> the frozen explosion. <gasps> Live in that misery for a second longer. What if his feelings stay frozen, but you can still feel them? <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> the height of a boom. Tell me you have to go back down. There was no tent there. Yep. <laughs> of course you do. Yeah. See what we're doing? Stop. <laughs> no call in the wolf pack. Oh, Bloopy there. Bloopy's troll side caves now. To let you know there's a cave. Wait. Not, not, not Tolan. <laughs> you. Go! Kinda. <laughs> Six rupees was the goal. Oh, they're trying to go in the cave, I see. Okay. Well, you are getting rolled. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's awesome. The best type of delivery. The rollo delivery. <laughs> oh, don't get stuck in the eyeball. It's my spoils. Thing go all the way. Almost the helping hand. You know, it's funny that they did that, because yeah, it's the Breath of the Wild quest where uh you have to bring the meat up the hill, but if you drop it, it rolls down the hill. So this time we're trying to get the Korok to roll down the hill. Korok is just forced meat. There we go, roll right in place. Kinda. <laughs> Wee. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I'll just start uh, like 19 away from another weapon slot. Oh, and we're, <laughs> we're only here. We still got um, five, six, seven more to go. Assuming the master is the slot. Nice. There's just so much you can do in one area of the game. It's like, I'm still in Death Mountain. Unlimited content. <laughs> but it's all great. 
wonder what type of birds those are, too. I think this is seagulls. Not close enough. If there's a falling rock, we can ride it to take a picture. Gorman Cliff. <laughs> or Reverse Cliff, it's... Yeah. Look at this. It was a shrine. And now it's expanded! Oh, they dug it on the tunnel more! <laughs> The rumor about a hot spring is around here. Either it's this tunnel or somewhere nearby. Either way, it's still, it's still an area. Worthy of respect. Wait. This is a job for you, Yanobo. Go! Oh, wow. Yeah, you got your playful, actually. You ready for this? You better be. Go! Man, I'm glad we just have you know for this. His recharge is longer now, isn't it? So he was my normal companion. Hmm. We'll play by its rules. <laughs> Start with us. A lot to dig. Unless digging's not your goal. Here. What? No, boy, no. Get back out. There you go. Jeez, what is with all this? It would take so much durability for me to break it. So you know what's gonna be awesome for caves now. Can't wait to see you know what's powered up for him now. Oh, it's a hot spring. Wait a second, then this was. <laughs> Something else. What if I throw an ice fruit in? Oh, it also makes a platform. Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah. Part. Ancient blade. Okay. I just started finding these yesterday. We used up one, and it's basically an ancient arrow. Be attached it to a weapon, it instantly disintegrates too. What's a one time use? But for a boss, uh, it's implied that it does 50 damage, so. Which makes sense, because that's how it worked in Breath of the Wild. To boss type enemies that didn't disintegrate, it did 50 damage. So. Yeah, consistency. <laughs> Yep, this is spring. <laughs> they followed me in. The secret hot spring. Simmerstone Springs. <laughs> Collapsed a long time ago. Basically legend. Did he make this hole? Mm -hmm. Yes, all thanks to you. Yeah, I did the heavy lifting. They're gonna jump in. Change their swim gear. Go for it. Mmm. Delicious. Wait, what? Are you cook are you, are you cooking in it? You're cooking ah. eggs? Yes, spring boiled eggs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> spring boiled eggs. No. An expert chef needs all of his methods, so. And this is it. So. Money. <laughs> Do we get to keep the eggs? Yep, there we go. <laughs> Nikki with helmets. Perfect hot spring. Oh. Don't bathe where you eat. And cook. And everything. I have some. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I was out of those, so I'm glad. Yeah. Well, if you bring more eggs, you can have all the spring world eggs you want. Or you can take them whenever you want. They're all gone? <laughs> yeah. You'll make more. Come grab some eggs later. What a chill life you do. <laughs> it's the reward that keeps on giving. Constant eggs. We love that. Okay. Let me get my bubble frog. Okay, we gotta do the minecart line stuff after this, though. What the? I guess there's enough damage. <laughs> Let 
And you don't get the credit for the bullfrog until you pick up the jump, in case you forgot to. Neat. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a little hot spring cave for that. Get out. Always the main attraction there. Oh, and this lake was for the champion's bell thing. Of course, this is long gone. Darb Pond, yeah. I don't think there's a nearby Talos anymore. <laughs> Good arc. So to find a use for the Lumen Stones. Because you buy the Radiant set in Kakariko now? Which just seemed to be worth money. I don't know. There we go, worth it. Oh! Sapphire. I used all those for selling. So now we have more. I don't need another fire rod. But what, is that a cannon on there? What's that doing? Um, <laughs> where do you have that cannon shield? Do we want another cannon shield? Just make all the cannon shields because it's fun? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Cannon weapon? Just something cheap? No, we're pretty full on stuff. Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, cannon and a rocket. Oh. Oh, bye, cannon. You know, cannon shield for now, if we don't want it, we just get rid of it, you know? But also, it's a guard up one. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows, not me. This is just so fun to mess with, so I could use another. So I said we won't fight him, but I want the Sifflinas. Do you think I need a fire rod? It's not even a magic rod, it's just a... It's not a sword, you know? We'll kill him for the XP. That's like the only reason why. There's just gonna be some junky, yeah. Hmm. Rocket shields are fun, but only one time uses. Same with spring shields. So it's like, nah. Thank you. We hunted the animal. Always well fed. Yeah. Okay, Minecart Land at Death Mountain. Um, I think we did most of the quests there now, which is awesome. Really fully clear with that region. But there was that one's really special quest that I wanted to see if I can do. Also, the sun glare, yes. And the Citadel. Yeah. There's not many ruins on top of it now. It's kind of cleared, it looks like. Now I see the tower's gone and there's a shrine now. Maybe it's a chasm entrance. You never know. Chasm entrance where towers used to be. But anyways, as I was saying, uh, tons of side quests. Oh my god. Moon gazing Gorons. Um. Okay. Two Gorons want to go moon gazing. They spoke of a place where you can see the full moon shining on the ground at midday, but they can't recall how to get there. Lake Ferona and Elden Canyon. We need a picture of it. I don't even know where to start, but. We will try. <laughs> so why not? After this camp. And we can also check out the Rock Rose place too. Cause... Prop wouldn't appear, and I'm kept. <laughs> That's okay. Those guys can carry weight. Oh, rock guys! There we go. Uh, nope, not close enough. Oh, forgot about that. There we go. You bomb too. No bomb. Woo! 
<laughs> Minimal damage, but fun damage. So that's worth it. Nice. <laughs> Love these cannons. Just go boom, boom. I didn't mean to use the damaged one, but it's okay. Bomb! Woo! <laughs> Love just blowing them up. Good for crawl control. No damage to me. Makes it more worth it. Go. Oh, sorry, Yonobo. <laughs> I chuck you to a different dimension. Barely damaged. Yeah. <laughs> The thump at the end really made that. So we got a soldiers, that's good. The charges are nice. They're slightly better travelers. But they'll be a hammer weapon. Or boulder, I see that, okay. <gasps> Triple loot! We deserve that much after that? Cool. <laughs> They can't even align the chest properly. That's why they're monsters. But a boomerang! Yes, okay, uh... We can fuse some really fun elemental stuff on that. What if we made a cannon boomerang? I don't know. <laughs> Would a cannon boomerang do something fun? I don't think so. I th think it'll just not be very good. <laughs> also, the loot got progressively worse. Yeah, nice boomerang durability. Okay, some arrows. The seeds we have a billion of, like... <laughs> what's our count now? 617, awesome. We needed that. Um, what don't we need? So, just rock hammer for breaking crap. I uh, guess we don't technically need two of the royal swords because we already have that one. Um, rather more fun weapons, but this is probably breaking anyways, so it's like, let's just drop that. Okay. What if we put a shock emitter on that? When I find another one, maybe I'll save that for it. Because we still do have a f ice... Well, yeah, fire one for the giant boomerang. Um, and then ice for the wooden. Which may not last much longer. We'll see. Boomerang six, that's eight. And I honestly don't know if there's going to be higher tiers. Like the trilizzles and stuff. I haven't really been to Zoro's. Because a lot of those tiered weapons don't exist. It's more so unique ones in this game. So, we'll Still have not found a drill shaft yet. Or I haven't even found a, a stone smasher, so. You know, close breaking. What can you do? Get the meat and keep going. Getting the meat's like the equivalent of breaking bread in this game. You know, bring home the meats. Make the cooking hot pot and, you know, we're rich in hunger. Or not hunger. Lack thereof. Yay, meat. So, what is that now? The tower is somewhere interesting. Oh. Very neat. Terrytown has minecarts. Did they expand to the ground? They must have. Kind of. I'm still in Death Mountain mode, but I want to go there. That's probably our best uh, jump in, anyways. Yeah. Right, direct hits only. <laughs> All three. <laughs> the mining is gonna be perfect. We don't no longer have a currency crisis. 3,000 money. So we did pretty good. Also, there's definitely a quark on this thing. Yep. A little quark island. I can't see through this fog of smoke. That's literally following my camera. Do you see that? Well, it's turning left and right. You can see it. Like, follow my camera. It's weird. I'm pulling up that up because that was really like what the hell? Okay, watch the 
You see that line of fog? Like, just... Roop, roop. When I turn left and right, look. It, like, follows me like a plane. I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> that was so weird. How do you bolt on that rock you were? That there. Uh, what else? Oh, just that. Perfectly aligned, that is. Oh, butterfly! No! I was mashing A too. That's okay. We tried. This little area, the smothering butterflies aren't as typical because it's not super hot. It's still kind of by a hot area, so. There we go. We just have to get out. This whole ascent area. It's weird not having the lava, I'll be honest. Wait, ooh. Rainbow pigeon! That's a rare find! Oh, how cool! Very good find. No, not a straight on shot. Mm -mm. Let's get the best shot possible. Um, that's fine. <laughs> I like those nice side angles. Ooh, ooh, the pose right at the end. <laughs> okay, not bad. I still like this one though. It's got the background nicely in there. You're free pigeons. <laughs> Yay. Is there a cart in there? Oh, Korok then. Wait, what is that? The plug? I pull the plug out? Ugh. Huh. I don't know. This is interesting. I just want to believe I pulled out or... Oh, I do! Wait a second. Yoink! Force! Like that. A little more. We gotta use exceptional force, like a rocket. Overkill, maybe? Sure. Would it work? Definitely. Go. Yep! <laughs> Flew right out. Wait, that was actually cool. <gasps> Rocket propelled. Korok unplugger. Decorker. That was cool. Also, Bloopy. There must be a cave nearby. Oh, yeah, that cave. Oh, that cave, more like. No. Oh, we got him still! Wow. For two whole rupees. Yippee. Hmm, okay, I got some monsters patrolling in there. What's in this cave? Lake. Into. Intense show, she. <laughs> we're just matching the climate. Oh, because, yeah, we were in water, so we still have that temporary resistance. Also, thank you for destroying him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the bombs. Yep. I knew about that. We have all Horblins. Bye bye. <laughs> That's too much fun. Now you get down. <laughs> I love that. Clobber. Good clobbers. 
Like a by the air spear. Yeah, we're gonna keep going. Blow it up! <laughs> I love this cannon thing. You ready to roll? You know, Bo? Let's keep going. And like, close. Okay, we were probably using that for a while, so. It's just so much fun, I can't stop. So glad we went here after getting you know, was ability. So, there's a certain uh, utility to get it sooner than later. When we go to the other areas, we'll definitely do stuff beforehand, but try to get that ability, because it comes pretty soon. I definitely see the value in it. Okay. His recharge definitely went up since he's just an avatar. But if we get the vow of the, like, those upgrade tokens, whatever they're called. Yeah, well, that should be better. Okay. Break him and then the rock. Yes. <laughs> A steam roll. All right. So Tulin's eyes are glowing. It's probably because we have the upgrades. And I wonder because with Tulin it increases his damage, but I wonder for you, Nobo, uh, Increases just his hammer damage or his hammer and explosion damage. That could be interesting. <laughs> very good, very good. Been using up all my bombs. We got this. <laughs> yeah, really. Just uh, we'll alternate. Ow! What? Did it, like, arc upwards? That was a double negative. Uh, okay. Back to that. Yeah, I think it arcs upwards when you throw, so. In a cave, not the best. He fell in his own lava. That that was on you. Nice. And that will be a problem for me still, so. Why not? Don't blame me. Okay, at least we can do that. We can kind of grab it from anywhere. Needs a little cave. More blooms destroy it. Let's get that other loot. Toss some more paths. I'm gonna do every cave in this game. Get all the max rewards. Uh, because from Colton, yeah, you can get some good stuff. The uh, the horrible and monster mask. Is next, so that's what the gems are for. Most of you should be my meat. Why isn't my meat my most used? I eat it all the time. <laughs> I haven't even used balloons before. Are you telling me that? Wait, where's my steaks? Yeah, what the hell? I haven't even used the balloons before, but I always use these. <laughs> That's annoying. <laughs> Maybe it's like just for uses other than eating, which uh, kind of makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. Eating important. <laughs> Yeah, that's so good. And we got a spin tackle, so. There we go. So you should be able to get more now. Because he's going under. It's a bigger explosion. Yeah. Explore more Sky Islands, get more ability things for him. I would love that. There's probably only 16 in the game, four for each champion to upgrade them. But yeah, I'm not sure it improves the ability recharge. Levels. That could just be fixed, you know? Oh, it's a shrine quest! Oh! Interesting. There's a bigger cases than I thought. 
That was a quick in and out adventure. But clearly not. <laughs> Oh, that lid back there. Okay. What is an elaborate thing? There. Okay. It sells that whole detour for the bubble frog, it seems. It seems smaller than that. No, that's all broken. Because it's like, yep, that's it. That's all it was. Just a lot of rock tunnel. Oh, it's just one big loop. That's good gems. Make lots of money. Because great fairy upgrades would be expensive. And getting that tier 3 stuff will be awesome. I want to max out the armors. It'll be expensive, but worth it. Oh. Zone ice structure. I love when the caves expand like this. So much more now. There we go. Ow. Not good. Yeah. Fire and ice. My fire fruits. Oh! Good thing you didn't break anything important. Give me my shield I can actually use now. Oh! Holy crap. Okay. Mmm. That mining weapon's still fine. I'm gonna drop a. Because we have so many good one handed swords, so it's like, why do I keep needing them? <laughs> Makes Flory rushing OP as hell. <laughs> Max out on these. I'm sure some upgrades you need them too. A fire like stone. Yeah. Eight of them? Cool. I assume the other two pieces of this armor set are here too, so I would love to find that. <laughs> Somewhere in the Elden region, at least. Follow the beam to its end. Offer the crystal there. And we get a shrine! <laughs> We can start getting hearts then. The lake into Notch Cave Crystal. Hmm. Cool story. <laughs> Lift off. Go for it. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> Easier done than said. You know what we do for the next part? Give us this nice opal rod. That's it. <laughs> you know, I expect it slightly better, but uh, <laughs> the results stand. Let's uh, hydrant. <laughs> yeah, we could do a little. Yeah, a fan thing will be more fun. to be a whole shrine cave. This is cool. Avoid needing a steering wheel. <laughs> Sorry, sorting first because eliminates the messies. <laughs> oh, it just glides in lava. Even like the lava wheels do that too, or the the off-road wheels rather. In the lava. Oh, it's just right there. Let the battery drain. It will go away. Wait, we can always buy more of those crystals too. I just haven't been back in the depths. Oh, you want to break from the seed? Sure. Souvenir. Oh. I used souvenir. Must happen, shrine. It must happen. I agree. Let's do the shrine. <laughs> you offers the crystal, I grant you light that banishes evil. Blessing. Okay. Oh yeah, this could be fun time to do a Daruk amiibo too, because we've only done the normal amiibo, this, uh, well, the Tears of the Kingdom one. We got the Paraglider skin from it, which we still can't put on because Hateno. Uh, <laughs> we haven't been there. Haven't been to Lureland, uh, Terrytown, 
Any of the other major races areas? Of course. Thank you. Yeah, that'll be figured out in due time. I, I don't even know what comes next. Like, maybe seeing what's up in Kakariko. Uh, I know more quest updates after you dungeons, it seems. So Lookout Landing could be a good destination. There was a big quest we got for the depths. That could be cool. So, when we do finish this stream, our next stream could be more depth stuff. Which, yeah. Fun for fooling around, building some fun carts. There we go. I'm gonna get that Jeruk amiibo. One second, it's behind my stuff. As far as I'm aware, uh, every single Zelda amiibo has uh, an added drop now for a paraglider skin. Something we put on probably at the uh, dye shop in uh, Hateno. I have that one, I have a Lucky Clover one from some quest line. I think pens. And then we also got the Melania one for just the rewards. Let me, let me pull them up. The fabrics, yep. So, Lucky Clover Gazettes, uh, Horse God, and then Champion Tunic was the Amiibo one. Getting the fabric for the paraglider before the even the. Yeah. You know, I, I think it's possible it's just you get the Champion Tunic at Hateno. Because it seems to be a big fashion hub. Maybe you get it there. Uh, <laughs> Maybe when I figure out one thing, I'll figure out the other, so. This champion's tunic and the final ability might be linked, so. Just, whatever that is. I just wish that wasn't there. I hate the map, like, just press minus. It does the same thing. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, anyways, Amiibo. This will be our second one we ever scanned in the playthrough. This is Daruk from Breath of the Wild. Usually drops the Va 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 Varudania Divine Helm. But that's just the thing in this game, so it probably doesn't have that anymore. Let's just see what we get. <laughs> Some Rockies, of course. Oh, Gorn Fabric, okay. Maybe the first drops are always that, but I don't know. Ooh, maybe for the other races, we can go into the areas with that. Be fun. So maybe do Hateno sooner than later. Because I would like to have the fabric soon. There's definitely a lot to do even before the next dungeon, which I believe Grudo may be that. Cool. Well, that takes you into there. Gotcha. A little too far. What do we get back? Uh, Tulin. Yep, <laughs> just barely, so. Thank you. You're probably supposed to get out from there. Which I like that. If there's shrines and caves, you can get out easier now. I don't want to almost lie there. <laughs> well, the link is the best. That waterfall goes all the way down. Unless it's not a waterfall, it's a streamer. Oh, jeez. Yep, can definitely tell the Zora dungeons in the sky, like the Rito. And Grudo may be on land, so. Which would be kind of cool. Okay, so Lake Ferona is where that quest is. Let me see what it's all about. So midday moonlight. We could do this. Sh oh, there's shrine and stable stuff. Hmm. Or at least get the shrine for the warp point, and then try to figure out whatever's going on here. Bats are going on. Well, they always are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hmm, I could build a flying machine, too, to kind of get myself around a bit. Oh, it was your camp. <laughs> Sorry, it's... 
gonna be mine now, but hope you guys enjoyed your free night stay. Traveler's bow. I feel like I haven't seen many of these. Yeah, so. Not too many, no. <laughs> Oddly enough, I've only seen one wooden bow, which, I mean, those are pretty rare in the game, so. Appropriately so. So peaceful at night. I love near volcanic just areas at night. A rocky serenity. Okay, there's all sorts of stuff. Let's start with the shrine. Stables are a whole like uh, <laughs> detour, so I don't know if I want to continue doing stable because. Last stream, we were at a stable for a very long time. Uh, but it's honestly some of the most fun I had in the game. Like, the whole journey to get to the stable it was the one next to the jungle. Because uh, we had to talk to someone for the Great Fairy questline. But I had such a blast doing that. Just the whole journey over there, we fought a Gleok. Uh, There's a bunch of, like, miscellaneous quests. A really cool well slash cave system. Uh, nice musical performance by a nice piper. And, yeah. Okay, what's this one? Wind power. Wind in the not wind region. So what's the scoop? Gotcha. I see we have limited fans. I actually got you now. Right? I don't know if we turn that. Oh, we can't turn that. Uh, if I just get a couple of them going, we'll at least give a little power. It's doing one. Hmm. Clearly there's something I'm... I have to figure out. Oh, it's just... What the? It's magnetic. Huh? Oh, no, I put it in... Oh, what the? Oh, the wind's pushing it. I don't even need to stick it, just... Or is it magnetic? I don't know. It's so odd. Okay, um, what if we did that? Rather, we have... It's got to move really fast somehow. Oh, I get it. I get it. Like that. Moving <laughs> <Ring> around. <laughs> yeah. And another one's got to do the same. That's facing to me. There we go. Maybe that's high enough. We got it. <laughs> that's cool. Let us wind around, pushing perpetual circles. Okay. We need to be careful. Or rather, I needed that wind, didn't I? Mechanism off. Sorry. Uh, that one will take. I'll take a bolt off. No. <laughs> That's fine. I was not thinking there yet. Hammer weapon. Please, a hammer weapon. Ah, more of those. I would love a drill shaft, honestly. <laughs> but it's quick shot, so that's good for the Death Mountain mini game. Look. Okay. <laughs> nah. 
It's very chill post dungeon activities. Horseback battles. Yep. Can make it easier to aim. Oh, you see, there's two symbols on the right for like your progress. Those are the sages you have awakened. Like how there was like the divine beast in Breath of the Wild. That's neat. Okay, stable later because that is a rabbit hole and a half. They always are. Or half them are. I assume the ones further from the starter even more. Because you get more space. What is this? Mine now. There's a puppy here. It's the puppy's camp. Pup camp. Do you, do you want some food? I, I would assume you're a tad hungry. Here, just take all the meat. There we go. Are you hungry? Yep, you're very. Oh, there's your owners. Here, when you do that, I'm going to talk to them really quick. Oh, it's a cave. Uh, Thought we found it too. Uh, Open all those one by one. Mm. Every chest be open. A green rupee. Mm. What? <laughs> uh oh. A trick system in here. Just a bit of eavesdropping. Miss Gill's treasure. Oh, wait. It could be the other part of this. Ah. Uh. Uh. They're treasure hunters. <laughs> yeah, these were these the ones that were by Dueling Peak Stable? Also talking about Miss Gill's treasure in Breath of the Wild. Uh. Okay. Uh. But yeah, they're very greedy. Uh. <laughs> We saw them earlier because they wanted a chest that we nabbed in the middle of a bog lake. Uh, hmm. Got our permission to go into that cave. <laughs> Seasoned treasure hunters can, couldn't find it. Huh. Then obviously I can't. Not unless you got a nose like a dog so you can sniff out the treasure. Oh. Give a dog some food or something and get it to like us. <laughs> oh, wait, we're already... <laughs> we're already on that. <laughs> go, doggy, go. <laughs> Whoops. Miss Gill's Cave of Chess. Get the right one. It's already liking us as we're figuring out why it needed to like us. It pays to be nice to animals, just for the sake of it. Look at that result. Eventually. Freeing them very good cuts, too. Another one? Okay, four it usually takes, it seems. Unless, yeah, you can get another one by, like, playing with them, I think. Doing circles? I don't know exactly how it works. There we go. Oh, it's a dog treasure. We didn't even check out the cave yet. We just know he's right. Okay. Misco cave. And I assume it's a piece of this set. Cipala Lake Cave. The open chest in here. Bye bye. Little bit brighter. Yay. If the open never. Oh, or a lot of things, rather. I mean, you gotta dig up one. <laughs> Is Zone I Ruin? Interesting. Just a flat wall. Oh, it's disguised. It knew though. Thank you, puppy. I'm still gonna take the rest of the loot. <gasps> Ember trousers, okay. So we can actually complete the look better. It just won't have, uh, you know, the fireproof. What do you do? <laughs> First nab at that. Yeah, ready one step ahead with the pup. It's like a million chests. Why don't you open them? <laughs> it's all green rupees. It's still money. <laughs> hmm. Finders keepers. Uh, no, we're gonna try to take it from you. A fight breaks out. <laughs> Prison. So jealous. Any treasure left in there? <laughs> he tries to look inside. Hmm. Treasure. You in there? <laughs> the grief. Oh wait, what? 
Ah. There was something else. Is that an old map? Oh. <laughs> a bottle. I want the bottle. <laughs> Bottles are very valuable in Zelda. Ah. How did we not see that? <laughs> Takes an expert second eye. Hey, what the? The closest thing we're ever seeing to a bottle in a Zel new Zelda game. <laughs> you guys back out, okay? This is like a holy sight. <laughs> Wait, to you have all my treasure, these ember trousers are but one piece of my grand collection. Oh. I've hidden an assortment of equipment across Hyrule. Notable pieces obtained in strange lands near and far. Wait, Fierce Deity Sword? You've done well to find this one. I will reward you with a hint to another. The Fierce Deity Sword. Okay, so yeah, all Amiibo stuff's gonna be here. Which means the set must be too. Maybe there's a bonus with the set. That'd be so awesome. Don the form of the Fierce Deity and return to this place. There are three keys you will need. What? This is the place of the Fierce Deity. That's what that temple's for. One beneath the bedchamber of a college red crop. Oh, there, there is an interior. One in S Skull's left eye. Yep, we saw that. The cave there. And one in an old stump in Hyrule. Oh, the old stump. We literally found the final location for this awesome fierce deity quest. They literally brought all the amiibo items in as actual content. That's incredible. We've been seeing some, but didn't expect fear, full fierce deity. Majora's Mask Legend being revitalized in tears. Yippee! <laughs> that makes me so excited. Okay. I'll take them all. My chest, so yes. Mine means mine. Mine means I can take them all. It's like he launched. It's almost gonna hit the other one. Chest crash! Bump! <laughs> yes, we do open. Yep. Hmm. They're such bad treasure hunters. They literally left behind a huge hint of where to find something awesome. We call Citadel's close to here. We have war points close to the stump. Um, Skull Lake, we saw where that was, that cave. So funny. So he could have done without the dog, but... Oh, well. oh geez, that is a lot of... What the hell? Get out, chest. Get out. <laughs> Infinite money. <laughs> One step richer at a time. Maybe one of them will have, like, a blue rupee. You never, you never know, you know? <laughs> or there's that little, little prank in there or something else. That'll be just a nice bit of serotonin I need. A little surprise. Yeah, it does put a smile on my face. Everyone does. Yep. Get rich quick schemes. <laughs> the green rupee chest cave. Oh, yep. I was pressing B. Of course I want to open it. <laughs> yep. There must be like at least 20 to open. So we're mostly through. Come on, five more. If there's more than five, I'm gonna flip. <laughs> the bottle knocked over, no. Wait, I wonder if I can take the bottle. No. Yeah. Bottle sword, bottle sword, bottle sword. No! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I think they keep spawning. Do they keep respawning? No, there's just too many. Oh my. Okay. We still have most of them. We still have most. For that, we give a toast. But there's seriously a reward for getting them all. Oh. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> yep, keep going. So many chests. A chest lover's paradise here. Recall. 
Where's the dust? <laughs> Back in your place. Kinda. <laughs> Without the stuckness. Okay, now we're almost done. We got those two. Now, okay. See, we're like good now. Pull it out! <sighs> oh my god. That's actually stuck. Not an impossible chest. Okay. <laughs> Nothing's impossible. <laughs> There's so many. Jeez. <sighs> I can't use the gyro to flip it out the ground. You have to use the stick now, sadly. But it still has extreme force. Okay, we're almost out of here. Complete the mission. <laughs> Yeah, let's put this cool armor just because we can and we should because we can There we go Literally a fire god. I love that even more yeah. Yep, we're picking it dry uh, I see one more I think that's it then I think being the key word No, I'm not next to two unopened ones. It's gonna be the same thing. Was that awesome? Imagine that's an alternate way to do it. If you wanna save your meats. <laughs> none on the wall, none on the ceiling, of course, right? Yep. Because when I come back, none of these should respawn. So, it'll be nice and clear for the Fierce Davy Sword. So, will that be a one time drop then, or do you gotta. Oh. Maybe you can like repair it somewhere, like the champion weapons. It's like, yeah, an actual legendary weapon. That's not a champion weapon. Okay, we're golden. <laughs> yeah, so none of these should respawn then. Which is nice. Okay, all the green rupee chests, that was a lot. Like 20 of them. I can't make a chest sword. <laughs> you think I could put it to good use. But the use is no good. All right, uh, bubble f the bubble fox probably deeper in, so. When we get the sword. Because that's probably how you open that. Well, at least we're tipped off now. Let's see, I do want to go that one place because it's midday-ish, right? It's 10, 10, almost midday. Okay, the quest was something, the moon shines upon the lake at midday, Lake Ferona. It's like less than two minutes to midday. Or noon at least. Yeah, midday. So what could that mean? How does the moon shine upon the lake at midday? Mount oh, Death Mountain. So anything reflective? Not really. On the hot spring. Nice, so. So maybe the perfect timing. <laughs> See, getting all those rupees was not a bad thing. <gasps> big chicken! Ah! No. Don't hard boil my big chicken. You have six of them now. Yeah. Seven? Yeah, seven. <laughs> You're right. Oh, ah. Get him tooling. Any of you? There we go. Thank you. Okay, it's 11.25. Um, Moonshot and Pineal Lake. So that's a huge system. Is that just Great Sky Island or? No, I don't know what that is. Interesting though. That's Great Sky Island. Okay, so let's read our adventure log. Um, Falcon and Trey went to go moon gazing. Might recall if you had a picture of the full moon shining on the ground during the daylight.
Why would the full moon be shining on the ground? Unless it's that rock casting a moon-like shadow. That, wait, the sun? Could that eclipse the sun? Are they talking about an eclipse? I don't know. It's a picture or something. Hmm. I just need all that stuff. We're feeding more dogs. Yeah, nature. I'm not seeing much. What did it just capture? What did it just capture? Wait. Rock Oct Rock maybe? Because I feel like that noise would come up if it's something we can capture, you know? I'm watching the replay. Um. What did it capture? <laughs> okay, midday, um... I'm not gonna lie, I don't see no moon on no lake. I think I know what a moon looks like. Not blocked off by that, because. Unless it was. Reading the riddle again. Uh, they spoke. They wanted to go moon gazing. Spoke of a place where you could see the full moon shining on the ground at midday. So it's shining on the ground. Why don't I even see the moon? Maybe it gets eclipsed off there. I. It's from Lake Verona. Uh, we have we have it save right there. Or rather, we can just change the time. Wood, please. Thank you. We have a lot of wood. <laughs> Okay, so it might eclipse off that rock. No. So what are you even talking about? <laughs> it's noon, same time. Rock Octo's gone. Maybe by midday it means... What does midday exactly refer to? Is it noon? Maybe they would say noon. Maybe they're just being vague. Oh wait! You can get it to eclipse if you move. I can't BS this puzzle, really. Now there's just a cloud in front of it, so. But at the same time. Yeah, the sun's there. There's a giant shadow. That's a giant cave. Uh, okay, it might have been the companion that tipped off my thing earlier. 
giant moon. They're only visible midday, that wouldn't make sense. There could be a secret in here? I don't know. Could be any other hints, you know. It seem odd, but... Lake Ferona Cave. Yeah, it's the same location. Wait a second. No, that is it. Yeah, they're talking about by Lake Ferona. Some moon. Oh, it's a gotcha. hole in there. Gotcha. If the moonlight's visible, it's because it's dark in the cave, but it's light in here. That's got to be it. We're just a little late now, so. So if it's noon. Okay. This is interesting. Yep. And the moonlight is shining on the lake. Oh. Yeah, it is like a moon, just on the rock. I was like, it has to be... Something like that, right? Okay, we have the picture. Um, let's delete some of these because we don't need them. Mm. So this boss one turned out kind of... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out with time. I usually do that after I stream because I'm like... Easier for me to think up decisions. Okay. Well, not bad. So it makes sense that... I mean, not an eclipse, but everything else was shadowed but the sun to make a moon shape. So we have our idea of shadows playing the key. Just one big shadow. That's cool. Yep. You see the full moon shining on the ground at midday. I guess I'd assume like lake, like not ground. Uh, That's cool. I just gotta find the bubble frog in here. Oh. Aha! Okay. <laughs> just a little secret. Something kind of fun. You know, but roll! <laughs> Please, I need a drill shaft. We haven't found one yet. So it's making me a little anxious. But we, again, we haven't seen a. A stone smasher yet, but we know the compendium slots there for it. So I don't know. Maybe just like a really late tiered weapon. Maybe it's in like a final area of the game. Who knows? We've seen all the Rito stuff, but feathered spears we only found guard habit. So it's possible it's just very specific areas. Scary thought. Yeah, little thoughts. Uh, still more. So check out there. Death Mountain. You might be a little more to explore. Stuff around there. But yeah, let's finish that quest. I don't think I need this pinned. Then the depths or something. It was a lighthouse. Okay. Oh yeah, it's a very interesting structure. So right on a go on sea, that can mean something cool. But regardless, uh. Let's see. We can't check on the bistro really quick. Wait, that's actually right there. We can just climb up to it. <laughs> I didn't realize how close we were. Oh, that's perfect. Yay. So check on those Gorons, then finish this quest out. So. Pretty. Uh oh. Guess you guys live now. <laughs> Never mind, you're stupid. That's on all of you. The meat slide. With some thighs. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> You'll see all the restaurants doing. Maybe it's uh, a bit more of a livelier place. Oh, yep, that hill. Oh, thanks. 
We do we have the hundred flint to sell to the person or a thousand hundred flint? Yeah. Get my quantities messed around. Hundred nine. Yeah, we can sell for a thousand rupees again. I think so, at least. More money. Oh, <laughs> sneak in. Na, 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 na. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you can buy stuff right off the. Don't take it. <laughs> Still clicking. Ah, sorry. 140 just for a sear gourmet steak. Jeez. Hopefully, chef seasoned. <laughs> But Cook, he's finally back to normal. Yeah, Better Rock Bistro. Or is it the finest restaurant in Hyrule? Specializing in gourmet roasts. Uh, he's salivating for more. Or is directly from the grill, that's cool. The Rock Roast is in short supply. And lots to keep in with demand. Oh, now we can get more for his restaurant, it looks like. He said that if you bring Chef Cook a rock roast, he'll treat you to a special dish. Gotcha. Money is no object. Hi, Gomo. Gomo the Goromond. <laughs> Sampled nearly every rock in the world. Right in Flint? Yes. But you don't know if it is. Uh, one second. I'm going to save beforehand. Because I believe you have to give him 100 pieces. Every 100 pieces, uh, that's when he gives you the 1,000 rupees. That was our theory last time, rather. Because he takes them in batches. Because he doesn't know until he eats that. Uh, if we do 20, it's like, no. 50, no. But I think cumulatively 100, yes. Mm. The polite way to enjoy it is to roll it slightly beneath the tongue, allowing it to dissolve. Hmm? Oh my. Yep, there we go. What? Eat a hundred and he still may not find even one. I want to test something out. I want to test out if it's a pure random or what. So maybe the first time, like, you give him a hundred, then it's ripe in flint. And then it's like a certain amount every time. Damn, I really thought it would be every hundred. But I guess, as he said, you could even eat a hundred and then... Hmm. Let's give him fifteen fifty. There you go. I thought he was gonna like that. Yep, okay. So I think if I give him another 50, it should not be. Because it is like a certain amount and then it turns into the ripe and flint. So it's not actually like a chance or anything. Oh, what the hell? So what's the point if you can just keep saving and reloading then? That's interesting. <laughs> okay, so that 100 did it. I am so confused on how this works. You know, you don't get my money until I figure out how it works. <laughs> yeah, because can you just theoretically keep reloading every 20 flint you can make a thousand money off of? Because it's like... I don't know, do I want to do that if I need to use it for an armor upgrade? Not really. So we're not going to exploit it, rather we're just not going to do it. We have 3,000 money, so I don't need more. We're fine. That's so interesting. I will have to look into the, the stats of that one. Because yeah, we were trying to figure it out last time. And it was interesting indeed. So hey! You're going to say the same thing though? Natural formation? <laughs> Which one are you looking at? Beautiful scenery. A small island up there, yeah. It's the ones with the text on it, I believe. That we can't decipher. Yep. Okay. Th those are the ones he keeps looking at, but we can't do anything because we can't read. But it's either Zonite script or Ancient Hyrulean. Or is that the same? I have no idea. Because it seems like we met a guy, one guy who knows Zonite well, and one guy who knows Ancient Hyrulean. So, yeah, okay. 
Yeah, he just points out those islands, but you can see him very clearly from a map. Like, oop, the star ones. Flower star. Interesting. Oh, the Gorns are gone here. <laughs> the restaurant lonely. Hmm. Well, let's give him a rock roast. Maybe a couple. Do his quest. Oh, yeah, they're actually working now instead of being addicted. Yeah! The sun's cheering him on. <laughs> He's normal! <laughs> rock roast. Tastiest rock. Normal rock roast. Not addictive. Big bunches of it. And we just keep. Strike the mother load. <laughs> Luxurious belly filling meal. A lavish feast. Lava feast. Lava feast. <laughs> These are so fun. He's dousing himself in the water. Let's get him some rock roast and then we'll go back to reap our reward. Oh wait, we were watered for a bit, so we're good. How long can we last? Can we get enough in bail? Maybe, maybe. I didn't bring a minecart with me. Oh no, no minecarts. Uh. Yeah, we got the stuff in this cave before. We were here. I brought him a whole clump of rock roast because I realized I didn't need it. And then we rock it. Get out of here, I don't want to change my clothes just for this. I'm lazy. Go! Yeah! <laughs> Bring it. And then we throw a little choo-choo. Oh. Well, that happened. No, go! Get out, get out, get out! We're almost out. We're burning now. Ow! I don't care, I'm stubborn, we're going! <laughs> Leave! Ah! Yay. Because now we have hot spring. Huh. I guess my cards are all. Oh, they're there. We should have started with that. I have a gen. Yeah. <laughs> it's the calm after the storm. The heat storm. <laughs> Gotcha. And then a fan. Oh yeah, they're all at the start. I just, you know. Running was my preferred option. But I'll see a bit faster for this than doing any sort of swapping. Five tasty rows. The last time I brought the whole wad and didn't do much. So I think he just wants to. Sorry. Killed everything. Take my meat mountain. <laughs> Give it to him. Up their supply. Gah! Mm. Yeah, rock roast. <laughs> when I'm cooking using that state. Ah. Okay, untainted because it's all. There we go. Can I have it? <laughs> it's tainted because it's. Yeah, it's uh, connected to others, I guess. Show my gratitude, here's a special disc. Sir Gourmet Steak, okay. Yeah, just one of those. I'm surprised we didn't make one yet, though. Oh. Wait, but... Where's where's the huge pile? I have to do them one by one. That's not fair. Well, I'm glad we didn't overcommit, then. <laughs> but I literally had so many. Oh, well, we did the quest. That's all that matters. We got a piece of meat out of it and made him happy, so... There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, let's finish that one out. Yeah. <laughs> I think next stream, uh, let me check out anything in Hateno. It could be fun. Make gradual progress to get that die shop. Maybe notes on where the other things are, like the champion tunic. Um, I think there's more Kakariko I can do too. And also just depth stuff soon will be awesome. All the future streams in the playlist, um, 
but it seems like hmm. it's moving forward Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I know it's an extended weekend for a lot of people in the US with Memorial Day. I'll stream at least two days over the next uh, like weekend span. Like like two to three days probably. Not all four though. So I guess we'll see. I'll have it scheduled. I just haven't fully figured that out or committed to it. And I like to make a thumbnail somewhat relevant to what I'm doing. So. You know what code is back? <laughs> The Hylians were pulling the weight. Well, the marble rock most disappeared. And he's sad that he let him down. Got next to no work done here. Been working through the nights, no sleeping. Uh, hope you're on a healthy schedule soon. Uh, caravan. Oh, my card. Hi. <laughs> Came to greet me. The mines are still littered with enemies, but that's not going to change anytime soon. Shrine gun. Yeah, let's finish the quest. <laughs> really hoping for a drill shack reward. I'll keep my hopes too high. What's in the pot? He's in the pot. Lincoln pot. There we go. What was it now? The vacation go moon gazing. <laughs> Neither of us knows where it is. I do have that picture. Yay! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> maybe we're supposed to get it from the opposite cliff, but. <laughs> ah, that's a trick. Remember when I get there? The west side of Lake Verona. Need to uh, recall their visual memory. <gasps> Oh, cave lit up when we're baby Gorons. <laughs> Feels relieved to recall it. Ooh. Yeah. It was neat to kind of hunt for it. It was like the cave, it's like looking for shadows and it's like hidden area. Mm. Mm. I like the present, take the trip. It's gonna move on. Mm. Need another decade, then I'll be ready. <laughs> it's a tray I know, quick as always. Ready for another 15 years myself. There we go. I like pretty much everyone's help, and that was really nice. Um, I want to only think of one last thing to do. Well, second to last, let's talk to Yanobo. Uh, just to see what sort of quests can be done left. After you buy the spice. And after you buy the sugar. That's the last. There you are, Yanobo. See, we have your boulder breaker now. Demolisher. Search for Zelda. Uh, things to help. Anything weird happen? Uh, amusement park. Yep, okay, it seems like that's the last one. Death Mountain minecart tracks. Business is struggling. Yep, I think that's the last thing. We I mean, help the Gorons fully. So Death Martin amusement tracks. It's probably somewhere here. That'll be a good war point. So let's do that. I think that's our last Death Mountain quest. I'm sure it's still like other caves and other things, but yeah, we did a lot here. Man, this was fun. Like actually fully doing the Goron stuff. We'll have to go back for the Rito stuff because definitely a lot we missed, but that's okay. Love the peak music. <laughs> Mountain tops. Yeah, but I would assume what we need is uh downhill. <laughs> Hello. -ho. Adventure. Dig up adventure too. A minute before they're yep, you can't rush it. <laughs> Or an ancient Goron dwelling not far from here. Maybe that's the one we were talking to, the sage? Hmm, interesting. Find the maid outside. On the other hand, never find any rock roasts. I have to go to the restaurant. I just delivered 
Well, I guess just one. Maybe they stole the other four. Just vehicles that taste bad. I don't want to eat the vehicles. Uh oh, failing. Yeah, it's flame enhancing stuff, but not flame proof. Maybe minecart lands there. Or maybe let's go up the minecarts first. Beats me. Yeah! Huh? You look like a part of the Noble Co. Zone I survey team. Check out the weird vehicle things around. They are vehicles. Maybe they're used by our most noble ancestors. Why do you need Goron rolling when you got Goron strolling in a whip? Yeah. They always want those ores though instead. Hello. Clamp. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we can always use some mine carts everywhere. Mm. Anything can't happen. I wonder for, you know, because obviously I always hear about you know what here. But I wonder who the other uh, sage descendants are, because obviously Tulin's new, so it wasn't Taba. But I guess the theme is like they're kind of like the youth. So I think Riju will be another. Spirit, but I don't know if Sidon will be. I think we're going to see another baby Zora. So I think Yonobo and yeah, Yonobo and uh, Riju might be the only ones. I don't think we're going to get a Sidon because it'll be weird having everyone but a Taba and there's just this little guy. So, but Sidon will probably still be a cool character. Hopefully, I pray for the best for Sidon. Also, can he make a wheel like? One second. I don't think this is the type of thing you can do. Maybe if you stabilize it now, I don't think. That would make a very good minecart. I don't think it beats a minecart. Besides a minecart. More fans? I don't know. I quite need that. Too. Okay, truck over. Um. Maybe I should check out my adventure log to see. <laughs> we have so many Kate quests done. Uh, was it all the way up there? It was by the shrine. It was right above the shrine. That's okay. We gotta talk to the people down here. <laughs> I like talking to everyone pre, uh, you know, a pre problem solved and post problem solved. And during. And shields are following the tracks. <laughs> Go lava link. <gasps> there you are. <laughs> Advanced course. We have some uh, quick shot bows. What's this one? Mighty construct bow. Oh, yeah, that is our only quick shot. Gotcha. We'll start with this one. Ah. Knew you would come. Turning Death Mountain into a minecart course is a pretty groundbreaking idea. Uh. I agree. <laughs> minecart lens main attraction. We haven't drawn a single customer. Uh -huh. So let's win this. <laughs> Super art course only for serious carters. Imagine you'll take it on with a smile. I will play. Uh -huh. Simple as it can be. Should release eight targets. Oh, we can do that. Oh. Gotcha. Well, celebrate your morning climbing courage. I'll let you play for free. <laughs> or warping. It's more for more so a past ride up the mountain. And arrows. Let's hope the reward's something fun. <laughs> Go! <laughs> All set. Ooh. Yay. We love Gora mini games. Minecraft is so much cooler than even Breath of the Wild. Uh oh. The music's great. Best song in the game. Sorry, not sorry. Oh. Now it's time for Quick Shot. Yep. Hope's in a pinch, you know? This isn't too bad.
Might as well just get close. Yep. Almost got outranged there. A quick shot and makes it very nice. <laughs> Controlled. Was there one behind me? Couldn't tell. Might have been. Oh no! Of course. We would mess up something, but first run can only go as good as we hope. Oh, That's a lot. Oh, you probably need all 20. Okay. That's where Crookshot will be helpful. But next time. Use a lot of arrows for sure. And bow durability. But it's fine. We got to chew through them to get betters. And announce the results this time. Hit 18. I think anyone would be able to clear my course. He's happy. Validation for the gamey setup. Go on, Fabric. Wait, don't we have one? Or is that a different one? Yeah. Okay. Even happier for Shockers with the highest record. Oh, Goron Champion Fabric. Oh, okay. So there's a lot of fabrics in this game. Goron Champion, but normal. I like the normal Goron one a lot. They're both very, very cool. Well, at least it's, ex it's an exclusive reward. Yeah. Hmm. Time to turn up makes you think that all this grueling, sternious labor was completely worth it. Ah. <laughs> we'll make him happy. Arrow me up. <laughs> Let's get them all. Ooh. Yeah, so maybe there's a fabric for each race. Like, each race is a minigame. Oh. Let's go for it. Uh -huh. ah. It gives you a time limit in case you build something that makes the cart slower to make it easier. So if you build it too slow, then you can't do it. There'll be too much cheating. <laughs> I could listen to this music all day. It's not that bad. Nope, there was none there. Ooh, good. Just be controlled. Can't miss. Wait, we got the one that we missed last time. Oh, that was close. Now is our quick shot time. No! Oh wow! Recovery! Amazing recovery! I'm so wowed by that. Okay. That might be better. No. I have to quick shot it. Yes! We did it! Woohoo! Right at the end. <gasps> Go! <laughs> wow, two amazing saves there. <laughs> okay. Yep. The two fails and amazing recoveries. <laughs> At 20 targets. A new record. How do you get a score that high in a course this tough? Okay. Made it 50 rupees in total. Oh, soldier's bow. Inflicts more damage than a civilian bow. Yeah. Be happy to welcome you back. Give some arrows for your next attempt. Wow. 100 rupees, 10 arrows, and a bow. Oh. Took another shot at. Looking forward to seeing some new high scores. So maybe there's other rewards for that, you know? Hmm. Okay. Well, it's still very good. I'm happy. Let's talk to Yenobo and see if everything's good. Maybe we got an exclusive reward. Soldier's bow. Still have not found a drill shaft yet. But I still also haven't found a stone smasher. And I know that's in the game, so. Yeah. It's, it's Cobble Crusher, Stone Smasher, Boulder Breaker. All alliterative ones. You don't need to kill another talus. I don't know what I do with the parts. Oh yeah, 
talk to you noble see for good and yeah we did like everything around <laughs> Golan city That's where a shrine was in the storm. Might as well do this. Use a lot more. <laughs> Flint and banana gem. Yeah. We'll be wrapping up soon because I got an appointment soon. Uh, but, yeah. Um, we'll schedule the streams upcoming. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, we'll stream at least two or three of those days. I just don't have it figured out. Depends on what I want to do. Uh, but you can always check the playlist to see when we schedule those. So We just did a lot these last two days. So I'm very happy about that. It's been a lot of fun. We also finally got our first highlight video up. So thank you to those who checked that out. Uh, that was from like our first three streams. Just a lot of best stuff. Because um, this playthrough, I want to post some highlights. Uh, and probably afterwards, I do want to do research for stat stuff. Because... As you can tell, I've really been getting into that this playthrough. So that'll be a lot of fun. So I... Okay, I see what I gotta do now. Especially stuff for, like fusing stats. Oops. Close. Close. Oh boy. Uh. I know what I need to do. Wait. Uh, 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 uh. Mm, why am I... Rotational brain. Three-dimensional. Uh, please. Wait, no. There we go. Think three-dimensionally. I got this. I went every wrong direction first. I'm getting better at it, but sometimes these screw me up. <laughs> it's hard. It's like, uh, I see the shape flipping in my head. What do I do? Okay, fine. Talos is here. It's like I don't even want to fight it because I'm just going to burn up. Until I get fireproof, I won't find any more of those. And plus, I won't be able to do anything with the heart too. Uh, you buzz off. Okay. I will take that one. This I find more interesting. Oh yeah, definitely. Maybe like something zonite though for no reason. Oh okay. Or a weapon I don't want. A bomb to blow myself up with. How great. I'm gonna do more cooking too. I, I I gotta experiment. Also, was there stuff in the mouths? I don't think so. Let's see, it's uh, Daruk. That looks like the Goron child from Majora's Mask, <laughs> the little whiny one. Mm. I don't know. I, I don't know if he changed since Breath of the Wild. I don't think so. I'm just. Is that Darunia? I, I don't remember. Crap! I really forgot. You know, hey, oh. search for Zelda. Um, oh. anything wild happen? Oh. Everything's okay here lately. My check elsewhere. Good, we did everything in this area today. Obviously, the pre stuff, but the dungeon most importantly, and then uh, yeah, all the quests are on here. There can still be other caves, but for quest lines, uh, at least the ones that he tips us off about, all good. <laughs> It's cool that he kind of tracks that, so maybe there's someone in each village that does. Um, yeah, just sort of like how there's a journal in Kakariko that does. So still stuff to do there. Um, but I guess next stop in your journey, I do want to do one of the quests in Lookout Landing. See what's different there. Because um, I did get a quest for something in the depths. I think it might have been a main quest, actually. Regional phenomena? No, crisis. Uh, mystery in the depths, yep. Joshua's looking to help investigate the deaths to a new discovery. And so I might do that and then might tr try to do a bit more in Cock Rico and pushing Hateno then. Because honestly, I really want to use his fabrics finally. Makes some nice periwriters. Because uh, if I do that too late, then I have less time to experiment with them. Uh, so let's try to do that. Map's filled in kind of nice. We just have a nice central blob. 
Like, it's all connecting, kind of. We'll figure it out as we go. I'm just having so much fun. We are, like, mm, I think close to 70 stream hours into this playthrough. And two dungeons done. Quite a lot of uh, side stuff, armors, two great fairies. Uh, it's been a blast. I can't wait to build more stuff, find more capsules. Because uh, when we do depth stuff, that'll be so helpful. We can figure out what the ego bases are for. There's just so much I don't know. Uh, more memories. We only have, like, I, I don't know how many. Uh, yeah. Not the first one. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Blank spot. We got that one earlier. I was like, oh, oh, God. But all those, I have no idea what's happening. So... That could be really awesome to check out, get them all. Um, so really a lot of things to do. There's just so much in this game, and uh, I'm excited for all of it. We'll keep these streams up, mostly every day still for a while, uh, probably until I beat it. Post occasional highlights. Uh, do take a while to edit through everything now. Um, and probably after the playthrough stats videos, challenge, like all that. I don't know. I'm just having so much fun right now, but it's really getting the gears going. Wait, thank you so much for watching this. The dungeon today was awesome. It might honestly be my favorite of the two. This and Wind. Uh, just love the Fire Temple vibes. This outfit was perfect with it, too. And can't wait to find the last piece. Tipped off about Fierce Deity stuff. There's just so much. It's like my mind's always in a constant spin cycle, and it's just a great feeling with this game. So, uh, yeah, I will schedule the next one. Um, I think more than likely we'll play more tomorrow, um, if not on Saturday. I, I just don't fully know yet. Give me, like, a little bit of time to schedule this one, even just a couple hours, because I don't know what my schedule is going to be this weekend. So, uh, yeah, we'll at least do like two or three days out of the four. Um, so I'll let you know. We'll try to do those things that we talked about. Um, but yeah, this has truly been excellent. So thank you so much for watching. We'll save right there. Um, this game is incredible. And every stream cements that more. Um, but yeah, I will see you all next time. Um, we'll post them in the Discord as always. Uh, playlist for the playthroughs in the description. So, again, thank you. Uh, Piggy also says bye, because Piggy needs to say bye. He just told me that, sorry. But, yeah, have a good day, night, everyone, and we'll play more soon. Goodbye.